Welcome to the Great Flinders Grand Final for 2003. Uh, we're up here at Lock Showdown here with the Cummins Ramblers playing Tumby Bay. Um, it's a beautiful day now. We've had a, a pretty warm sort of a, an afternoon. We've had a, a quick shower of rain and uh, not much in it, but it's made it a bit steamy, so it's a bit, bit, of, a bit humid at the moment. Uh, but conditions are pretty ideal for football. Um, umpires from Midwest. Um, We've got Denton and do you know Pacer? We've got Pacer Murphy here alongside. He's going to help out. the umpire is there, Jim, but um, both sides here at full strength, I think. So I thought it should be a good fight, close game. The umpire Denton, he's got the ball and he's going to bounce for the grand final. Up they go, we've got Simon Pedal against Cody and he's knocked down a Tiger. Tiger Cabot kicks it forward. Smothered. Treasure gets it on to, to uh, Edmund. Edna's got it forward into the half forward line, there's a whistle call, got a free kick, the parameters has been infringed and the ball goes to Quentin Nagel. He's got the ball just beyond the 50 metre up line and out to Scott Rammers on the wing, good pass to him, but on the back flank. And Scott's passing the ball forward now up for Tyson, Tyson Waite, he knocks the ball out of bounds. We expect a pretty fierce opening here from these boys because uh, both teams are, are, are on a high. They both come off wins and uh, things should be really hot on the collar. Tackles here from Wake, right on Curtis. Not Curtis, uh, just Franks. Like Franks. Kerry Franks has been a good player for the last few weeks. and noticed he's been the best players for some time. And right the six weeks of Tommy Bay have been winning. He's one of the uh, mainstays of Tommy Bay. Treasure. Handball is back. Intercepted by Sean Waite. He's got it across to um, Rammers and the ball's gone out of bounds on the fall. Pleasure to take the kick the ball back into Tommy Road. Looking for options down forward. Goes towards Zimman. Zimman taps the ball down. Curtis reads the ball well. Handball out to Southern. Southern kicks from about 40. Slayed it to the right side. First score of the game is a behind the Tommy Road. Good use of the handball. Curtis is going to be one of those exponents of the game he's very good at. But he's opened up the players for his players. Been in good neck, Jimmy. Threatening, kicking out. It's the ball there looking for Bruiser, they're calling his name. There's... And uh, down the road by Tosson. Wait, he's got it off forward. Scott Blacker, young jock. Handball's it on. Bruiser Pedler, the, the medal, male medalist for this year. He's kicked the ball forward and the uh, young uh, Allen. And Allen. Plans. He's trying to for the down line, but he's caught holding the ball. He was looking sideways, didn't get on with it. The ball's gone. Umpire's calling it back. Eugene Walker got hold of him. And he's a lot of pressure in these finals. You can tell the difference. Uh, good tackle then. It. Good tackle then by big huge Walker. He cornered Allen on the down line. He had nowhere to go. Walker now looking for options. Shield leads. Puts the ball up towards Pedler, Cody's there, it's a good spoil by Cody. Off hands, Jim Holman kicks the ball forward. Johnson for Tumby, up to Daniel Borden. He kicks another ball by Cutter. Eugene Walker in there again, handball to Blacker. Off to Adam Richardson. It's a free kick, beyond the play. Damien Clark, a bit late there. I didn't see that, Give me anything in that? Uh, no, I didn't get a close look, but just a little bit late. And I think in his back, more than anything, not, nothing serious. But the umpire's going to take control at this early stage of the game. The umpire. So it's Ash Warner, he's going to kick from about 45. I'm not sure if he's got from his legs, but goes back slightly into the breeze. Not a bad leg. Oh, that's a good mark. Good job. Yeah, good job for uh, Adam Nixon there on the, uh, on the Jim, goal line. Jimmy Holman? Jimmy Holman, is it? Oh, sorry, Adam, you had these two, yeah. Well, look, you've got that better than me. I was looking at the man. And I... It's uh, definitely kick in the league. I've seen him at, up in the uh, Central District at uh, Elizabeth Oval. There he goes. He kicked nine goals one day against West Adelaide. And I, uh, yeah, we, we thought this in this northern end would be a, a bit of a hard uh, quarter to start. Umpire throws the ball up in the middle of the ground. Code and Pebbler to go into the ruck. Up they go. Code, a good tap down. Fleming goes in hard. Richardson there gets Campbell out. Curtis in hard. Is all up, stacks on the mill. See another bounce, we're back to where we started. There'll be a fair bit of that going on. 
It's a big oval though, if, like, if, if uh, the dummy running side can, can get the ball out, they'll, uh, they'll get a lot of pace and uh, be very hard to stop. But in these packs, it suits runners. Horton there received a kick in danger free kick and he goes out and finds runners. Runners goes back, kicks into uh, Ashley Fay. Ashley Fay. Ashley Fay's back from injury. He's staying back home. Down a couple of yards, then he got on his own. Dolling makes the lead, but it's ignored. He's called to play on now. Goes to the screw front. Good mark by yeah. Dylan Hagan. And Dylan, he's been, good. he's been good at since he's doing the back lines. Is he Bet playing there today? Playing in good form. Yep. Beautiful kick of the ball. He's looking for Southern. Southern, that's a magnificent kick. Southern looks for the handball, but it's not there. Goes back, kick short to Fleming. Fleming. Another young fellow who's been in good form, young Flemo. Hard at it. Looks forward to Tame White. Another one of the younger brigades, that's a beautiful kick and a good lead. Smart by White. White goes back, looking for options, but there's no one there yet. Kicks in towards Zimmerman. A lot of Rambo. Oh, good strong play. Mark. Good strong mark by Zimmerman. Strong mark from the uh, opposition from Clawton, but too strong at this stage. Yeah, goes out to yeah goes across now to uh, young Cretanen, uh, Flago Cretanen. They're holding the ball, they're holding it together, just not to let the ball get, a, get too loose. Give the Rambo side a chance to uh, settle down and use up a bit of time. That breeze sort of does pick up a bit. It's yes. certainly a, a defensive quarter for the Rambler side, I would say. We're changing our tune, but I know it's, it's wind has picked up. But it's uh, stacks on the mill again. A lot of strength going in that, in that pocket there. The umpire's going to take control. They're not going to let anything get away yet. Uh, up, up goes young White. He's, he missed the ball. Young uh, Adam Richardson, he's been tackled without the ball. Um, but the ball's gone out of bounds now. And the umpire will throw it in. Umpire throws it in in the forward pocket for Sunday Bay. Good throw in. All Rammers, they get the tap out. Adam Richardson reads the ball well. He's got Rammers. Followed by Rammers. Young guy. It's an exciting young player here. It's a brilliant player, young Froggy. Pass it magnificent to young Ashley Fay. Pup kicks it now on, passes on to Joel Fitz, but it, the, the kick was wayward. Great work by Dylan Higgins there. Dylan's done a great job now, and got Ricky Clark's going to take a run. He's a good mover. They tell me he's carrying an injury today. We might better talk about that later. Scott Blacker, handballs across. Young Simon Pedler's got the ball forward. He kicks it up now to Jimmy Holman. Jimmy Holman got the ball now just uh, forward of the 50 metre line. Out on the forward pocket for Ramblers. Too far out, I think, to score. He'll kick from about 48 metres. Uh, not a, it's a difficult sort of shot, but he should be able to lob it up in the square. Right into the wind here, he's kicking the new. Goes back. Good kick to the square. Code tries to mark. On the boot by Fleming, he kicks it forward for Sunday. Laurie and Ramblers are going to challenge here on the boundary line. Umpire's played a free kick there. Thought that wasn't a bad contest, Jimmy, you know, but he's made the free. He's taken, taken early control of the umpire. Yeah, we, we, had a, we had our backs to the, the player and concern, and uh, I guess it maybe it got him a bit high on the front. But no, certainly you've got to play tough, hard footy in finals and let the umpire at the same. A great grab there by Johnson against good opposition from Walker, Tumby. Very congested, a lot of players in Rambles 450. Johnson goes out long to Kane White. Good throw, young Tyson White tries to pick the ball up. White tackles him again, that's a good tackle. Good tackle there by Kane White. And Tyson's a bit lucky to be not caught holding the ball there, but I guess he didn't have much opportunity. The umpire will throw the ball up again as that wind picks up even more, Jimmy. Yeah, no, that's right. Scott Nicken needs to have a bit of a ruck there. Simon Pedler normally does that, but he's Scott, uh, Scott Black has got it across now. Tyson White's going to go for it, but there's tackle pressure from Tumby. Quentin Nagel's got the ball. He'll kick it along the boundary line. Now, Eugene Walker's got a mark a yard here. Oh, he's been cleaned up heavily by young Fleming. And there goes uh, Johnson, pass the ball forward across to Edna Clark. Clark has got across to White. White's getting on the treasure, and uh, he kicks the ball forward, looking for uh, number nine. Peter Monty. Peter Monty. I like the skills of Tommy. They've been handling the ball pretty well. They've been, there's movement when they have got it running. I can see that they're going to be a real danger. 
good clash out here by Fleming on, on the Walker. Good body work from the little fella. Umpire throws the ball in. So that is for Rammers. Handball's out to Rammers who kick forward hardly. Yeah, Sean White and Franks. Franks, Franks have done the better. Bad. Read the ball so well. This guy, that's the best part of his game. He reads the ball. Getting better than anybody I've league. seen in the league this year. Back off the mark, he should have taken. That's, that should be holding the ball, but anyway, yep. Tyson White's ridden to the ground. Tackle there by um, Treasure. Good umpiring season, man. Yep. Good pressure. We certainly got things fired up for the final. Everyone's really going hard for the ball. We've got young Sean or Sean White getting on the Tiger Cabot. He kicks the ball off the ground. Heading up towards uh, Curtis. He's in tackle by Dolling. They get it forward now. Ricky Clark's first to the ball. They're pretty casual about it. They're not taking too much, they're taking plenty of time over there. Not picking the ball up. And Jacob Kay should have too much pace here for Warner. He picks the ball up. Handball's at a cross. Handball Handball's not good. Johnson. Picked up by Pedler. Pedler goes out to Ashby. He turns around. Plenty of options. Goes yeah. in towards Adam Rickson. He's taking a strong mark. He's got to get on his feet quickly, which he does. Goes forward to Joel Fitz. And Sean, Sean White. White. Sean White picks the ball up. had not got many options. Goes backwards to his brother Tyson. Tyson White goes back. And then back to Joel Fitzgerald. Oh, yes, it's going to be Matt Everest. <laughs> He was lace out. Showing his class there, a brilliant left foot, left foot pass over about 30, 40 metres. Yeah. Joel Fitz. So. Those two young lads, they've been real stars. I mean, uh, we've got 17 young Joel's now, he's 18 years old, but he's, what a year he's had. He's kicked 81 goals in the minor round. That's a great effort from anyone. Right. But, uh, big year, playing, young fella. He's lined up the ball. Beautiful kick. Strong kick there, but the wind's going to carry that. Puts it across the face. Um, the boundary up, I thought. Oh, no, no, she did manage to get a point. Very difficult angle, I would say impossible. Yep, we've got a good in. Southern goes on, he's got Treasure on the run here, he can run onto it. Yep. Treasure as opposed to Sean White and Grammers. Good work there by Dwayne Treasure. Diamond head on there again. He's been collected high from Laurie. He's down Simon Pedler, but he's back up again now. Southern picks the ball up. Handball's out, it's a great handball to Johnson. Johnson, Johnson goes in the into middle. the middle into Fleming, that's a good kick. Oh, he's, he's dropped it. It's caught. Yeah, he's handballed out. To Curtis. Curtis has got two blokes tackling. Curtis. Fleming gets away. Well done, Tommy Bay. They're under pressure there. Good tackling from Ramblers, both sides. Good effort. Force forward, under pressure. And the wind has picked up. It's got, got taken that ball right down onto that. <laughs> so inside, 50 metre line. Pedler got his left arm to it, belts it towards Rams on the on the boundary line. He's caught, but it's gone out of bounds. And bottled it up again. Dumpire's getting in there, throw the ball in again. It's uh, yeah, a bit of jostling in the rut from Zimmerman. This body's coming through. Cabot's got all of it. He's got it out. But it's Tommy Bay everywhere. There's three three tackling. Oh, one of them's obviously done it. Very poor tackle there, but it's been passed out now also to Simon Pedler. Simon, like I said, he's won the male medal this year. He's been a champion. He's had a true, true, fantastic year. On to Jimmy Holman. Jim's playing on the wing. He kicked it down to Ashley Faye, who's taking a big, Alan. big mark. But Allen's read the ball better. Stood up in the pack. Faye's got it again. It's good to see him back. He's been playing really well since he's come back in the last couple of games. Allen's got it across now. Good play uh, by Andy Allen. Good movement of the handball from Borden to Frank. So he's kicked into JK. Good work there by Tumby, started from Andy Allen back there, three under one at one stage and got the ball out. JK looking for options, Rammers have flooded Make back it. there. You got, you got a few fans there, look while he's signing autographs, I'll, I'll, I'll take over here for a while. The Franks has got the ball and uh, he's kicking it forward to the fourth flank, Clawton out of it. Um, he got away with it so that's alright, and it's over the line now. And he's going to get the ball over the other side of the ground here Jimmy, so they can Bit of a dead pocket there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Simon Pebble takes a good grab for Rambles. He's causing some damage early in the game to come and go. Yeah. Yeah. Kicks the ball uh, Gary Crettenden. He, he's taking the ball. Gary plays across the back line. Normally he'll be back pocket today. He's very reliable. Just steady the play down. So Both teams of... are flooding back here, Jimmy. I know this. They're pushing forward. The flood yeah. the forward lines of each other. Yes. Goes out to Jim Holman now, I think, he's got the ball. He's doing some early damage as well. He will try and make that wing his own. He's certainly gone well since he's been shifted to the wing. He hasn't played that position much before this year, but he's done well since he's come back from the Air Force. 
Good work by Jared Kemp there. He said over the footy and got rewarded with a free kick. A beautiful kick of the ball, Yaddy Kemp. Should go along here. Uh, he's going for the handball to Curtis. Curtis looks for options, but there's a lot of Rambler players in front. Kicks now to Zimmerman. Zimmerman's spoiled by the Rambler players. He hits out to Nagel. He's tackled by Treasure, a good tackle, and he's held him up. Yeah, another ball up. Yeah, good defence there from Clawton, especially. He's on Zimmerman, he's got a big job to do. Zimmerman's so strong, and that's the only thing. He can't outmuscle him, but he can jump and, and spoil. That's Curtis. He preaches the ball better Curtis. than no one. Across the lorry. Lorry Lorry goes long, that's a good kick. Pebbler back there, we can't Scott, see the ramble play. Scott Micken. Shepherd, Scott Micken. Down to the wing again. Beautiful we'll turn the back flank for the wingman. Holman. Holman kicks it on to Moose. Peter Moose is right on his own, right on the wing, all by himself. He normally plays in the back line, so he's 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 been having a great year, Moosey. Went to his 40th birthday there in the, in the summer holidays. He's doing well. Ashley Faye. Go across to Sean Waite. Sean's being tackled. He's, it's just about throwing the ball, but Curtis has got it. He won't waste the handball, but it's going to Nathan or Johnson. Johnson and go along. He's Johnson. good kick of the ball. The left leg. To Fleming. Beautiful pass. Fleming takes Mark. Just fast and half forward. Kicks in short to Petamonte. Petamonte should go back and have a shot here. He's probably 50 out, but aided by the breeze. He should give us a real shot. Going towards the left hand. Well, he's well within distance. He, he'll kick from 45, I think. He, he's just standing there right beyond the 50 metre line. So Important kick here for Tummy Bay. They need this goal to take advantage of this win. Better oh, he's close to the man on the right. He's been smothered. Smothered by Moose, who's butted up again. He's picked up the ball and he's the mark there. Tummy Bay. Yeah, a bit of pressure from both sides. I think that's not grand final nerves. I think they're uh, underestimating the opposition, and uh, you can't do that in the final. Uh, Ricky Clark, he, he's a good player, he, he kicks the ball along, he knows where to put it, right down, but he's put it wayward towards the point, points and uh, it's been forced behind by Rams, which is probably a sensible thing to do at the time. Simon Pev already doing some real damage, Jimmy. For yeah, he, he's been good there, I see Jim Holmes coming alive there on the wing and uh, yep, uh, it's a better place for Rams, but Curtis looks dangerous, doesn't he, and Kerry Franks. Young, uh, Gary Cretton, he's, he's kicking the ball forward now to Adam Richardson, so uh, without that touching Adam's the ball, Tommy Bay will get the, the free uh, from that. He takes his kick. <laughs> That's it's Ricky Clark. So You'd like him with the ball in his hands, wouldn't yeah, you? He's a good kick, Ricky, and he loves to kick a goal, so he might be a chance for me. He's pretty hard though to get it in, but goes back now. Kicks it in. Well, it looks like a pretty good yeah. effort from there. What's the umpire called? Things called it behind, Jim. You weren't excited there, Pacer. I thought no, you might have been I, jumping up and down there. And, uh, I actually thought... It looked all right, didn't it? It was a great effort. Point. Picked up a few yeah, positions. It's a poor kick again, but it's good mark. Simon Pebble. Simon Pebble yet again. Handball's out for Sean, mate. Sean no one to kick to. Nobody. Gary Franks has got this covered. Gary Franks going to run into the footy here. Oh. Could have possibly yeah. got a free there, but... Yes, now Kerry uh, knows how to play the game, and he'll, he'll, get, he'll milk a free if he can. Didn't get that one, but he's going to gonna cause havoc today. There's Steve Laurie, he's got Hill with the ball. Good tackle from Sean. Good strong work there by Laurie, and Sean also by Waite for Ramblers. Good bit strong of, tackle. Bit of a cloud over the weights, so both the boys got a bit of an injury. Oh, I reckon Sharpie must work them too hard. He's been getting them doing all the hard jobs, and uh, and that's, that's making it hard for him. There's a free in the ruck to Eugene Walker. He's a strong boy. Pretty hard to move him, but he's got a free for in the back. He's lining up now. He waits for Ashley Far to make a read, lead. And Pup's got a line up there at half forward. Young Dowling nearly takes a screamer. It's got into Curtis. He, he's caught all around the neck. There's a free kick. No, it's not called. Could have got a free kick there, Scott. Curtis. He was held under a long time in the tackle and flung out. But as the wind picks up even more here at the Lock Oval. It's pretty obvious that his umpire's going to let it go. Good on him. I like this. That's what I like a grand final play. Made a good start. Make it fair. The little touchy things aren't worth pulling the game up for. Might as well let it float. So the Cody and Walker are wrestling there. Treasure so gets the ball out. Good work by Treasure, but also by Tyson Wake. Wake. Kick, kick the, the ball forward. The ball. Adam. Richardson. Ramble's out. Ashley Warner, strong body work. Gets, knocks the ball out again to Walker. Cabot gets tackled strongly. Dolling could use the body, but can't take the mark. Daniel Borden handballs without an open space. Gonna have some work here to do now. He's Dolling quick, isn't he? The ball. he is quick. He's dodged around two players. Goes forward now. Unbelievable. Don't tell me. Let's kick the point. This boy's uh, got uh, 
He's had a great under 16 carnival for the Australian, Australian Championships. He's got himself a, a scholarship, AFL scholarship. So he's uh, in the top 30 players in the uh, under 16 age group in Australia. He's gonna, he won't be playing for Randalls for a long time, I don't think. The boy's only 16. Walker, yeah, good handball to Cretanham. Cretanham's good smother there by Code. Code's tackled strongly. Fleming's got the ball. Held his feet well. Off to Curtis, who's been caught in the tackle. Cretanham again. And Fon there's Fontaine's good pick up. Gets the handball out. Down to Jake K. Jake K. the long kick forward. It's a bobby kick. Good work by Johnson. Kicks the ball forward. Scott Micken. He, he's backed up there. Handballs across to Jimmy Holman. Jimmy Holman must be right back in the fence following Ricky Clark. Ricky must have gone to full forward, that's the way it looks to me. Uh, Scott Rambers gets it up to Tyson Wait, Getting towards on the hook right near the coach's boxes. He'll kick the ball forward into this breeze. To Eugene, so there's no one to ride for Rambers, but tell me about the men Camp. there. And uh, uh, Young Cavey, he's got the ball up. He looks like a tough nut, he will, he'll get his Work the ball forward. Ricky Clark's got it Ricky all on his own. Give him a space and he's going to kick it. Open goal. Good work there by Tommy. They opened it up. And Jake Cave kicked the ball long forward. Maybe by a point. Dumpling Tommy. Tommy throws the ball up. Well read by Blake. Blake kicks the ball forward. Good work there by Tommy. Tommy Blake throws the ball up. Well read by Blacker. Breaks from the tackle. Kicks the ball forward. Dolan's got a couple of yards on board now and he's taking a good mark. Looks forward. The umpire's just going board and come back. No, I, I oh, couldn't shit. reason why the umpire kept saying it, but he kept blowing the whistle. It, obviously, the lad wasn't understanding what was going on, but young Borden's got to realise you can't do that. He, he called him three times, and uh, that's a waste of uh, opportunity for Tommy because they had time to uh, man up in the fence. So, uh, young Dolling has got the shot at goal. He's well, pretty good kick. Here from about 30 metres great, out. Great kick. He's into the wind. Probably should kick this. Yeah, no, it's discipline football, and a grand final you can't do those sort of. I wonder why the, the umpire kept blowing his whistle. He just wanted him to come back another yard. Ball goes up again. Came white. Tim Cabot gets tackled strongly by Laurie. It's a bit smother there by, yeah, by Nagel. Nagel. Yeah, yeah. Franks and Scotty Black have fight the ball out here. Scotty Black, it's a brilliant tackle by Treasure. Wraps yep. him up beautifully. Two good players there, Treasure and Blacker together. Good to watch them. That was a good tackle. He had a bit of space there if he got free. So good work by Treasure for Tumby. Umpire throws the ball up again. It's Simon Heather against Young Kamai. White rings the tap, goes forward. Treasure is Treasure well, reads the ball well, didn't he? Picks the ball up, goes towards Cody. Looks like he's having a bit of a spin in the forward line. Picked up there by Nagel. Nagel, he kicks forward. He's found Jimmy Holman again. So yeah, Holman's uh, gone back to the wing. Clark's uh, got uh, Cretton back at full forward. So on to Adam Richardson. He's bounces the ball. He's going to handball across. Now Sean White showing a bit of pace for a bit of uh, bad driving muscle. But he's kicking the ball forward and he's got it up there. It's gone to the boundary line. But uh, yeah, Sean's got a bit of a driver there. It's been a bit of been worrying him a fair bit of this year. He's uh, a good player, Sean. He was one of our greatest players there last year on the Premiership side. Played only a quarter in the, in the second semi-final, so let's hope he can uh, get it through this game. He certainly deserves it. He's made a change here. Yeah, Borden's been pulled off for his indiscretion and been replaced by Mickey Cromer, who's the ultimate bit to get out there. Kent goes forward, but it's been marked by Rammers for Rammers. Umpire says he's sorry again. Rammers goes back, looks for options. There's only one player behind Rammers at this stage, so he's definitely fighting back. There's Fontaine's a good contest against Cormos. A couple of old blokes here. <laughs> good work by, by the coach of Tommy. He's kicked the ball forward there, but yep. it's all round us now. He's got him and he's going to pick the ball up. He's got the paddock when he's ordered himself. Goes to Simon Pedler, but it's a bit of a rainmaker, but it's a good grab by Pedler. Yeah, Pedler's out, outsized him. There's Fontaine's. He, he's uh, the workhorse. He stands the mark. Simon yeah, Pedler kicks it on to Moose. Moose. Moose to and Curtis has jumped all over, all over Moose, right around his neck. And he's got away with it. Well, that's not a bad effort anyway. We said keep the ball going. That's the main thing. So there's Fontaine. Scott got it up. He's half forward now. He's passing across. Code's got it. Good, good lead. lead. Good lead. Good kick. He's a little bit line up now. Out. Too far out. He's kicking forward to Ricky Clark. Made a great lead. Oh, he got a, could have took that right on his chest. Had it in his hands. He was thinking about what he's going to do, I reckon. He's caught with the ball. Anyway, now, Cretanen's kicking it on now. Kicking it forward up to Richardson. Richardson, he's got the ball. They're hanging on him. Number two is Braden Sutton. Southern. He's got, he's standing the mark. Adam, just slowing the play up a bit, couldn't find a player. 
Adam Richardson, role, experience and all class. He kicks the ball out towards Eugene Walker and Dolling, but Dolling's closest and the Tommy defence, Yabby, he's, he's got that ball done well. well Rebounds well from half back. A good grab by Johnson, great use of the body there. Pushes his opponent back. Good chance here for Tumby. And then on the right side. Johnson looks for his options. Code pushes back now into the full forward line. He goes inboard to Jake Kay. Jake Kay takes the mark. About 65 metres from goal. Leaves the fly by Park. It's a poor kick, but well picked up by the round of plays. He kicks out here towards Joel Nagel. He's going to be opposed by Stephen Lowe. This should be a good body play. Nagel beats him to pace, but falls over. He's got the support there. Push in the back, it was untidy, wasn't it? Yeah, a bit untidy. Very untidy, undisciplined play as well. He didn't have the ball, the and also pu Nagel. pushed in the back as well. Cabot falls yeah. over the park by Cabot. Frank Thorne is going out here. Yeah, yeah. Gary now. Franks read that well, called out for Craig Kirst, and he made the space. But he's dropped the ball. He's looking at where he's going to get rid of it. Stephen Laurie's got the hand pass again to Fleming. Fleming kicks it long. Now here we go, the black fellas fly. And up goes Simon Peller. He had his name written all over that, didn't he? He's a hard man to, uh, to nullify. Uh, dropping back in that forward slot, it's going to be pretty hard for Ricky Clark. Cody's got to get the, he, he's got to get down there and make a bit more space. Rammer's some damage, Peddler. Rammer's got it on that half back line. Kicks it forward down to the wing. Dolling's all on his own, but he drops it. He's let the ball go and and the uh, ball's on the ground. Young uh, treasure, handballs it well Handball. down at Braden Southern. He's got it, he's a great player. He, he, he passes into the centre. And a late ball there by... Could have been a bit high on Peter Holman. Holman but anyway, there's a bit of a how do you do going on, on, on here. Wouldn't be Ashley Warner. No, he never hurt anybody. No, that's Warner and Braden Southern, I think. Warner yeah, looks like he's gone into the book there. I'm not sure what happened. Well, I think he already knows his number, but anyway. Ash, you'll be right. He's he obviously was something we didn't pick up there. But he's certainly going into the book. Uh, young Braden Southern and Ashley obviously uh, enjoy a bit of company uh, yeah. together. And a 50 metre penalty, so this will put Braden well within range. Could be a return favour from Amber. Southern can perhaps uh, go back and have a shot some more. Clark lead is ignored. Yeah, no, that boy's still got the ball. Going to give him a good juicy shot at goal. So suddenly, being a good kick, he'll, he'll find that very hard to miss that from there. Should go up from there, Jimmy, I think. He's probably up 30 metres. He's lining the ball up. Braden Southern, Tommy Bay goes back. Kicks forward, and it's straight through the middle. It's and a the siren has sounded. Goal after time for Tommy Bay. Put them back in front by a, front, by a point. Quarter time score, so his round is 2-2. Tommy Bay 2-3. Oh, yeah, a bit of a battle of the midfields, really. Okay. Yeah, no, look, we've, uh, things are a great spe spectacle here today at the Lock Oval, and uh, we're lucky enough to have with us, we've pulled out of the crowd, we've got Crackers, Keenan, and uh, Crackers. And uh, what do you think of the game so far? Well, pretty even contest, isn't it, Jim? Pretty even, which is good to see for the first quarter. A lot of hard tackling, the umpires were having a, a good control of the game, I thought, but it's going to be a battle of the midfields. Really, um, and it's all pretty even at this stage. Yes, um, so Johnson's, Johnson's got a fair bit of the ball and, and looked pretty good, and so has um, so has Richardson for Ramblers. Ramblers have been a little bit more direct when they've been going forward and been getting it there, but really just messing that last little bit up. Where Tum's been running it pretty well with handball. So look, yeah. all looks good for the second half. And, and Crackers, you're, you're looking pretty in good shape too. I am, I am. Yeah. Yes, put on a couple. I can see things are doing, <laughs> treating you well, obviously with your uh, afterlife of uh, football. Thank you very much for those comments. Thank you. Thanks, Crackers. Now this win, umpire throws the ball up, Heather against Code. Somebody in the square there by the look. Randall's player in, so it's Code to take the first kick for Sunday. Goes back, looks forward for options, not many happening at the moment. Zimmerman provides the lead now, and that's where he's going to go. Four kick though. Southern will be first. Southern and Fleming out there too to assist. Well, Holman, he's, Holman. he just reads the ball so well, Jimmy Holman. Did that well there. He's no, he's got against three tummy guys. He's, he's a bit of a navigator coming out of the Air Force, but I, I think he's going into urban development. He's finding uh, some of the roads got too many corners in them. So uh, we like to see Jimmy Holman do progress with whatever he does on the wing. He, he's going to line up now. He's waiting for a moves. He's going to kick it long now. Bay's just going to move forward, but he's kicked yeah. it off the side of his boot. That's uh, a bit of a careless kick there, young Froggy. Not going to bounce well for the forwards, so we don't need that. 
Anyway, he's been pushed off the ball. He's got a bit of co competition there from uh, young Alan, isn't it? Or number 21. But uh, well, uh, the ball's going to be bounced up. They're going to keep a co close ke check on him and uh, Craig Curtis for Tommy Bay, getting a lot of attention from the Rams players. So is uh, Eugene Walker, knocks the ball down. Alan's got it. Smothered there by Faye. Faye's got it in his left leg, so hooks it around now. That's not going to be. Oh, he's hooked it too far. The wind's got hold of it. But a great effort because uh, that win, if it didn't get hold of it, that would have gone through for a goal. There's a great shot. Kick the ball in now, so he goes, goes long forward to Cade, and it's a great kick. Good grab by Cade. Cade pushes it back, came off, provides the lead, and a three heads. Pretty good kick, too. But Scotty Mitchell's working fast. Came off, done well again. White used his body well. There's Fontaine's good work with body there. He pushes forward. Trentman takes advantage, goes forward spot. Kept his feet, done well. Took the ball up and just kicked that out to Tyson Wade, I reckon. Tyson yeah, Wade goes Tyson Wade. Harry, we call him. Kicked Harry's got it in a bruiser. Bruiser peddler. He's, he's going to knock the ball out of bounds. A couple of good players here. Where's Harry come from, Jimmy? Oh, he's one of his... Uh, Mark Harris was his idol, and uh, they tell me, and uh, like he's just trying to play football like him, and he's doing okay. a great job of it. So, uh, How many idols come better than that over? No, he was a true champion, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, no, anyway, the ball's in the centre with uh, the centre wing there with Jock, Jock Blacker. He kicks the ball straight down the throat of him. Joel Fitzgerald. What that was a beautiful pass, wasn't it? He just slammed his foot that onto that. That was a magnificent kick by Blacker. That was probably going 45 that, metres about six foot off the ground. That is not second to anybody. That was a magnificent pass. Joel Fitz did the right thing, did a strong lead. And it's lace out right on his chest. He's about 40 metres and just right in his comfort zone. Young like Joel, he can, he can feel about that. He was right with him, but it was just beautiful kick. He can kick him off. I think he might have pushed that across the right, has he? He has. No. No? Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, he hadn't pushed it far enough, didn't he? Well, yeah, well, there you go. Go on, boys. They, you're by laying off them, aren't you? They've got a few acres up there. But uh, no, no, I'm sure that was a goal. That was a pretty Jordan good effort. Did a good job on him last time then, yeah. So he's gonna have his work cut out today. Ruck goes up again, Nibbler and Toad comes out to Adam Richardson gets the handle out. Black and Black Thomas. This boy picks the ball up. Good work on his left leg, that's a good kick to Braden Southern who's nearly taking the mark, no mark, provides support and he goes short. He takes the tummy, he goes front range, he can't take the mark. Pushes in well, moves his there together, picks up the ball, goes long, he's got Simon Pepper out here, and it's Adam Richardson. Oh, it's a great late, yeah, yeah, young Flemo. It didn't hurt him, so that's all right. He won't hurt, young, he won't hurt Adam Richardson, he's got the mate on his own there. Finds him, oh yes, he's been paid the mark. They want to hang on to him because he'll play on. Goes on to Rammers, he kicks forward to Ash Warner, the old timer. Ash Warner. Got something he should have taken. So strong win there and Laurie and Warner. Laurie does a good job to get the ball out the back of Cove. To the ever reliable Kerry Frank. He kicks the ball forward to Zimmerman who's on a long lead and Thornton with him. But it's a good mark. That's a strong Zimmerman. mark, isn't it? Like good hands. Good work. Thornton did good everything right. Last week, Zimmerman. He goes back and kicks the ball towards young Kane Wine who's provided a lead. But it's all Rams there by the looks. Good mark almost by Quentin Nagel. He, he come in from behind, read the ball better than everybody else. But Thornton's going to pick the ball up. No, he's got caught. Tackle there. Tommy Bay, handball it on, oh, out of Johnson. But Black is in, in, intercepted. And this boy, he gets the ball and he's going to kick a bouncing ball. Oh, it's just uh, intercepted by Steve Laurie. Steve Laurie kicks the ball forward. Ash Warren intercepts. She's not pretty stuff. There's pressure on here both sides. Rammers kicks it across. Now, uh, Curtis, Curtis has been tackled when he been didn't have the ball. Yeah. He should have got the free. Sudden, no, Cave. Gets it on now. We've got young uh, Fleming. Fleming's got kicks the ball forward. There's a lot of pressure here. Sudden is just a bit quick there. But oh no, Jimmy Holman's got the ball under control. Oh, and he handballs across to Simon And they just take a bit of time now to, to uh, set things up here with Adam Richardson. Got the ball. And uh, he was either going to aim at the goal or uh, the running player lets it. Yeah, uh, Luke Letton racing the ball down the forward pocket. I think uh, that uh, the risk of. Uh, getting a too close to it together, they thought they'd kick longer. Adam well, Richardson, he sums it up. Good pressure by Dylan Higgins. Andy <laughs> Allen gets by out, Kerry Franks. He kicks the ball forward. The Johnson the post against Wake and Dolling. Good contest and goes out of bounds. 
about 55 out for Ramers. Going with the win this quarter. They lead by six points at the moment. Good tight stuff out there. The ball comes in. Code, taps the ball down. Yeah, no, it's a bit hard to see from here, but uh, Tommy Blake's going. Kerry Frank shifts the ball off the ground, but he's got the ball again now. He's just in there. It's got two handballs, and he still got, gets it every time. I like Kerry's game. He does well. Johnson in there. Yeah, that's that, 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 Adam Richardson. Cross to Simon And actually, he'll have a shot at goal. He's out about 50 metres. 45. And what has he done? Like Joel Fitzgerald, uh, two magnificent kicks in the Rams' side. You can't give them that space, but what a great goal, isn't it? The biggest lead of the game so yeah. far as the umpire throws the ball up. He yeah, scores Hadron four goals, three to two goals, three to Tommy Bay. So exactly two goals are different. Contest there, Tiger Cabot kicks the ball forward, but it's nullified. Everyone's on top of the ball. It's got, oh, it's out now. Jock Black has got it. On to Simon Peddler. He's got it on his left leg this time. But running in from the defence on the 50 metre line is Nathan Johnson. He's got it now. He'll kick on his left leg. Hello, the umpire's stopping the play. He's got, a, oh, there's a blood, blood rule. Walker, Eugene Walker. Up. And uh, he's got, uh, obviously bleeding by hell. He can, he's running off the field, all right? He's, he had come into this, the uh, game with an injury cloud with a hamstring. Like he said, he can't get any slower. So he's off the field. And Sean Waite, the other fellow that's got a bit of a driver. It's a bit of a bit of a story, a bit of a tale with these uh, small senior Ramblers players there. What's uh, Bernie done to his driver? Not knowing them weight boys, it might be his old fella slapping him in the driver, is it? <laughs> well, you know, these things happen, I suppose. When you, you're, uh, when you're a bit of a, a bit of a talent, you can uh, cause a few problems, but... That's all right. Franks has got the Kerry Franks. Ever reliable, he's so good. He's got that ball in his hand, he's just waiting his time. Pass the ball up. Forward to code. Yep. No, but young Jim, Hol Jim Holman. Jim Holman done well. We actually, Jim Holman is a bit of a danger. Joel Fish produced a long lead. Three heads. Goes up. Good contest. Andy Allen for Tumby. Done well. Nicky Kramer out there as well. Sean Mate's got the ball. Handball for himself. <laughs> Yeah, well, Good contest, they're nearly holding the ball. <laughs> the ball out. All around the neck, one or the other. Andy Allen is in there for the time as well. Goring <laughs> there, looking dangerous. Ash Warner, well met with Bob Kramer. Sean May gets the handle out to Cabot. Cabot kicks the ball forward. See a tummy player. Jared Kemp. Kramer Kramer gets the ball over under his boot. Good contest here, Fleming. Laurie in there. Jay Cave, well done for Tommy on his left leg. Kicks the ball forward, but it's Pedley yet again for Ramers. He kicks the ball inboard. Ash Warner, strong body work, good contest. Ball comes down to Allen Allen. He kicks the handball to ball out to Johnson. He's on his left leg. Goes forward to Zimmerman. Headless there again. Good contest. Ricky Park picks up the ball, kicks it forward. Curtis, some weight. Tackled by Ryan Mixon. That's a great tackle, good strong tackle, but Curtis can have to get the ball out. Run came wide against three Rambler guys here. He's going to have to do well. Hang on, he's good. Yes. Done well there, young Kane White, to hold the ball up. Kane did a good job there. They should have grabbed his Guernsey. That's a, that's a discipline thing you've got to learn. He didn't, they didn't, and uh, he's, got, he's held the ball in for Tumby Bay. Well done, Kane. Kane's been playing good, actually. He's been one of the better players for Tumby. But uh, yeah, across now, Jim Holman, who also is certainly the best, better player for Rambus. Down to Code. Code's blocked it off. He's a big, strong man. He bounces. I don't know how he gets the time, but he's going to get caught if he's not careful. But anyway, across to Allen. Allen's quick. He's got it on his left foot. Kerry Franks has got the ball in front of him now. He's got not much opposition here until Tyson White gets there. But he's, oh, he's done the same as Sean. He's hit handball straight up in the air because no one to handball to. This is what the pressure's like. Yeah, Jared Kemp. Jared Kemp. Strong in the back lines, it comes straight off the half back and this Moose drops the ball and uh, Des Fontaine's got it. Moose is the tackle. Southern's trying to pick the ball up. He'll get it in a minute, but they've got all of him. It's just, uh, Des Fontaine's tackle, but he's managed to tip the bloke over the top of him. Um, Braden Southern's got it again. Tackled very late, unbelievably. Uh, Simon's hung on him far too long. That's, uh, that's, you can't get away with that sort of thing. Now, boss saw that. We all saw it. By Holman, because Ram has had the numbers there on the full back line for Tumby, and pretty hard kick there from Jim Ray. Uh, into the teeth of the breeze. It is. It's, a, it's an awkward position, but he's got that lined up. Push it across. And who's that man again? Well, I don't know. That's Simon Pedler. Does he play everywhere on the ground? He's got the ball more than anybody else here today, and he's rucking and he's driving and he's doing a lot. Ashley Farr couldn't grab it. Jerry Kemp. He sees he sees Cody, so that's a good pass off. I don't know whether Cody actually picked that up clean off the ground, but he's going to settle it down. He's about middle of the ground. He's waiting for Tim over here to pass it off. 
I'm sure he will because it just only not matter time. He's, no, he's going to line up forward Gary and kick Franks it off the side of the wide. foot, but it's great passing in the long run. Good work by Kerry Frank. Yeah, Kerry always Andrew offers, Lee. doesn't he? Always puts in an offer, yeah. He's one of the off, uh, better players here today. Uh, Des Fontaine's to great pass. Yep. Certainly in the dead side of the ground. As Cody pushes in and Zinman's in there as well. Tom and Pebble back there for Ramblers. It's uh, using up time, a valuable time here in Tummy Bay's in, as well as they're attacking. It's uh, going to suit Tummy Bay's game if they don't don't use the ball, use the time up as much as they can. Brave yeah, Southern's right, got to ask. Gee, Brave Southern's been everywhere. everywhere. Look at him, he's going on his left foot, pass it off to, to uh, Craig Curtis. Good contest there by Blacker. Yeah, good. Ball well done. Ball done. Wade Nagel there. Kick, but it's all Tumby out there, although he's got a time bound. Joel Fitz has come out to make the ball. Yeah. Picked it up, hadn't quite gathered, he's gathered a beautiful Oh, that was well done, wasn't it? Left leg. Well, how could you do that? That's impossible. That's the position on the field. Kick, there, kick the ball with his left foot under pressure, right out on the boundary line, line, put it straight through the middle of the goals, hit the goal umpire fair on the guts. Umpire throws the ball up, it's Kane White against Simon Pedler. Pedler crashing in heavily, Adam Richardson gets the kick forward. Here's the contest, Johnson meets the ball hard for Tumby. Dolling's Dolan got the ball, oh that's clever. Good hand, we're out to walk of his back on the ground. Why Nagel again. Nagel. He's on his left Nagel foot. Nagel gets the front kick forward and Andy Allen. Andy Allen, he's a great player back there for Tumby. Well, Andy Allen's been one of the better players for Tumby Bay today. There's no doubt about it. He's been defending stoutly there, um, along with Kerry Franks, picking up the uh, back lines there, holding them together. But Walker hits the ball back behind him, uncontested. Allen again, again but he's too high. There. He's only got to drop the knees a little, and he's going to get the free kick, and he knows how to milk them. That's well done, Andy. No, and he's played on now. He's he's, well, he's got to go back behind his mark. Nathan Johnson's all over there by himself, and uh, it's, uh, it's a chance now really for Tumby to settle down, try and get to half time without too much damage done. They need to need a goal here, Tumby. They can come back before the break and then work with the wind in the third quarter. If they can force a goal or two into the wind, that will make all the difference. From the half time, will be looking great. It's a uh, gun cave lining up there. Right on the 50 metre line in the defence. He's got it out on the wing there. Plotten's pushed out of it by Zimmerman, who's held strong. Taking some good grabs, you know. He's back in a bit of nick now. He kicks the ball forward to Cade as well as Clark. Wade Nagel again. Nagel. He's done some good work for him. Right. Good grab by Ken for Tommy Bay. He's playing a good game too. He's done a good job on the hooker. Ken looks right now. Not much coming forward, but he kicks long now. See the wind hold that ball up. And came out, pets four by Pedder, well read by Fleming. Fleming kicks the ball forward, it's two contains, he's got a time down. And he kicks the ball up, but it's another three bounce now for him. Nagel kicks the ball up, it's a good tackle. Lucky enough to hold the ball, here's a chance for Tommy Bay for Laurie. Can he kick the ball forward? Oh. You see the desperation on all those players there. Steve Laurie almost did it. Um, Gary Crittenden did a marvellous job there, tackling two players, and uh, enough to nullify. Good strength by Laurie too to find his way to at least get beat the ball. Yep, those boys are carrying a bit of weight I suppose, but that's where you, that's where you need him. Straight down the middle, You're looking for Pedler. He's found him, but a lot of pressure from Kane White. Well done Kane, because Simon Pedler's marked nearly everything that's come his way and that one he didn't, didn't get, so that's good to be able to nullify that. Simon Pedler, probably a bit of a difference between the two sides. He is at the moment. You know, that's He's done well. Simon, done good Eugene, Walker, well. Eugene did all the right things and uh, dropped the chest mark. But Tiger Cabot, he's got the ball. He's going to kick it on now to wait uh, on to Joel Fitzgerald. And Andy Allen's going to pick Taylor it up again. There. Good work. Handles out to Dylan Higgins. He gets the ball to Frank. Frank's is playing another great game for Tommy. He gets better with age with Blake. Plays on now. Kicks the ball forward. We're about to kick it forward. Goes long towards Treasure. Treasure against Waite. It's a good contest by the two young fellas. And Dolan in there as well. Treasure's done well. Gets the ball out. What's happened? Is that a play? I think the band round for us thinks it's his. So. He might have paid a free kick. Oh, the okay. Coming on to that ball. It's good work by Treasure. Good contest out there by Treasure. Treasure's, Treasure's been good. The Treasure's been excellent. He's there at the contest all the time and uh, delivering the ball forward again now. Into Code. Code's got four punched away by Micken. Micken. But... Free kick to Code. Right, yep. yep. Fair enough. Um, Cody's got the ball. He's going to kick it forward. Yeah, he kicked them straight down the most. Gordon did a great job to get there. 
Yeah, you know, Scott Ramos, he's on he's gonna kick down on the wing, but there's no one there for Ramos. Kane White's down here on his own. He's got got, got Mickey Kramer and and a good kick out through the southern and he's well done. Good play by Kane White. Didn't panic then, just kicked out a player and, and found him in Southern. Southern goes wide out to Dwayne Treasure. Dwayne Treasure takes the ball just on the 50 arc. He's been doing well, hasn't he? And he can deliver the ball. There he goes, he passes it forward. Another good pass. Another good pass. Put that beautiful out in front of him. Good mark there, big Cody. And he read the ball well. He ran looking under the ball and then doubled back a bit and, and took a good grab. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult kick from there. Gonna have to punch it hard and low. Dwayne Treasure's going to take a lot of credit for this sort of goal. That was a great kick. And a great it's kick a great effort by Cody. Yeah. Don't just kick the goal there. She's gone over the post. The post. Would have been a valid one for the Blues. The the mark. Gets one high from low. No, from Holland. Holland must have had a fair few marks too for the game. He passed it down to Rammers. Rammers. Curtis Abbott, but uh, Adam Richardson's got it again. He's just been sensational. What a, what a, I think that's about 70 or 80 metres. We don't want to get carried away, but by gee, that was a brilliant kick. And Walkup's got the ball on the, on the loose ball. And he's kicked the floor. Well, that was too brilliant. Oh, man. Look at Adam Richardson. He's dangerous, isn't he? Like, certainly with his kicking. Selected that torpedo there brilliantly, and uh, not many can. But by gee, that carried a lot of distance. It went a long way, showed the strength of that breeze. Oh, the, it, 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 the point's not allowed. The, the free kick back at half back. Here we've got uh, Higgins. John Higgins. Higgins is, is half back, been playing good football of, of late. Scott Megan's picked up the crumbs, and he's handballed forward to the court. Oh, no, it's Tyson White. Oh. Harry. Tiger's been flattened. Knee in the back. He'll get up. kempy has got the ball forward now to uh, Quentin Nagel and I can see the tumble blow. Adam, Adam, Adam Richardson again. James Pickett with a good one to Hayman. Beautiful pass, isn't it? Hayman goes back in the middle. It's down Nagel there, is it? Yes, Wade Nagel. Plains again, actually Wade Nagel. Yes, he since he come off the bench. Gerald. Push under the ball. Yeah, a little shove. Owen's doing a good job to come me back there. Leading the play well. Push it through from behind. Ram has moved to 5 5, 35. Doms and uh, pick up some good scoring opportunities. Even though they kicked some points here just, just of late. They still look dangerous. Harry's got the ball. He got, went for the hand pass, but she's gone. Cody got the easy cross now to keep him. Zolling's here. He's got a bit of pace. Picked up by Harry in one mate. end. Grabbed by Simon Pedlock. He's got it forward and there's no one there for Rams and it's going out of bounds. But Eugene Walkup and uh, oh gee, um, Andy Allen's a good player in the back pocket, isn't he? He'd have to be one of the greatest back pockets uh, for a long time there in this league. And then Terry Frank to the old White Nagel hasn't there, got the ball. Do it every week. Froggy Dine Dine. kicks it up. Do Joel Nagel, uh, Joel Nagel, Joel Fitzgerald, strong as hell there. Gee, this boy, he's got strongest hands. He actually reads the ball better than anyone I've seen. Like, since Ron, Ron Coff's days, he, he knows where the ball's going to end up. He's a good young player. He should have no trouble with straight in front. He goes back. Oh. There we go. Jump off, throws the ball up. Cody goes up against Pedler. Pedler wins the ball. Cody taps it out. Paul Ram is over the stage. He's going for the ball. Picked up Luke the player by Fletton. Letton and Cody telling Curtis, Curtis he gets the ball. ball to Southern. Southern kicks the ball out to Letton again, who's brought in hard. Rabbits. He kicks the ball forward. And it's it's that Simon Pedler Tom again. Tom again. He and can't keep that one, surely not. I don't know, but... <laughs> we've all seen it. That was from 60 metres. I think he's just a, a sensational player. He's certainly a well-deserved uh, male medalist. You know, I well, actually think he's got VO again. No one seems to want to stand next to him, but anyway, he's causing a lot of damage to come here at the moment. Well, he's causing enough damage to be uh, clearly the best player on the field today at this stage. He's just spent every kick he's done and mark he's taken has been he's so damaging. Every ruck contest as well, so he's doing it tough, but he's playing a brilliant game. He's also a good neighbour. Curtis picked up the ball, it's a good kick for well done by Curtis. <laughs> Clemens got the ball for Tummy now, they desperately need a goal here. Having 45 knocks an 
now, but he's cut off there by Thorne. Braden Sutton picks up for Amber at the treasure. Here's a chance for Tumby. Treasure goes forward. One came out. Can he pick the ball up? Now she's out of bounds. There by Nick and White. Here's a chance for Tumby. They need to take advantage of this one and kick the goal. Umpire Skulls Howe has got the ball. He's going to throw it in. Is it Skulls? Yeah. And now we've got Quentin Nagel. Quentin Nagel's always reliable. He plays forward or back. Uh, down the way, Nagel. Then we've got uh, Jacob Cave across the treasure. Treasure's got it forward. Back to uh, Cave. Oh, sorry, hang on. I've got Fleming now. Fleming across the treasure. Treasure's kicking inside, so aiming for those forwards. But dying intercepts. Braden Southern's been there, but he's been fantastic. Anyway, Dolan's got forward and Wade Nagel's after it. We've got uh, Fleming again, back to Code. Cody's going to dodge. They're under pressure, Tumby, and they, they just got to be able to get clear of the ball. Anyway, the umpire's found a free, young Dolling, who's slippery as ever. Grab at what you can when you're when you're going to tackle him. I've seen a lot of, a lot of yeah, opponents Dolling, battling to uh, ball to that on them, yet again, onto the Peddler. Peddler. Peddler's got the ball again, on, and he'll kick it just a few yards, straight down to opposition strike this time. Nathan Johnson's got it half back, well done. He's going to kick it forward. Braden Southern's going to pick it up. He gets it across now. Comes out wide to Bart Higgins. Bart Higgins going to have his first touch today. Dodges around, does the football. He's caught, man. Picked up by Laurie. Great tackle. Good pressure by Scott Blacker. He's just a bit quick a bit quick for, the, for Steve Laurie and, and Bart. They've got to, got to be a bit more elusive. You can't let him get it. Give him a chance. Pushing up against the ball now, Yabby. Yabby taps the ball across the Bart. Bart's caught and he's... And he'll be called for another ball up. Adam Richardson, he doesn't let too much get away. The rich Don't boys. Again. Yep, now the umpire's got here, he'll, he'll, bounce, he'll throw the ball up. So we've got Yabby and two big boys. And Eugene Walker kicks it, uh, gets it down to Scott Rammers. Rammers, a big kick. Well, Scotty, you've done better than that before, boy, but I've seen you do worse, so you, you're a backman. <laughs> He's a Good real champion. Then, he? He's a champion. He, he knows where the ball is, and he's probably one of the better readers of the play. Yeah, in Ramblers, and uh, I'd say in great fitness. Coming from East Gambia, in the uh, in the league down there, he's a great achievement. And the Allen brings the ball back in. Drop short there with that win yet again. Camp, good handball out to Curtis. Curtis, brilliant handball to Code. Code kicks the ball out looking for Borden. Can't quite find him, but it's good work by Borden to keep the ball in. Here's the track by Borden. Good work yep. by Corden. Gets the ball out to Nagel. It's good tackle by Zimmerman. Good on his contest there, Yeah, good on, on his contest there. The Skulls Howell will throw it in. He's got the ball now. A pretty tough going there, and she's not easy. It's pretty warm out there. Those, these boys are going to feel a pinch here at half time. And a good tackle there from Rammers. Walk up, that's strength here. That's the Rammers. It plays into their game. Use that body strength, and uh, Tommy will be in trouble. They've got to get it out in the open. Tommy's got to get it into space. Cross now. Simon Pedler will pick up a free kick. No, not this stage. Oh. Yep. And it's uh, Fontaine's is leading the race to the ball, but. And snaps the ball back at the goals under pressure from Cretanen, and uh, and he snapped the point because uh, Troy's obviously a good shot at goal. I've, I've seen him play uh, a couple of times, and he's fantastic in front of goal. He, he did a good job of getting rid of Simon Pedler at that stage, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, the umpire was closer than us, so what do we know? That's right. Kicks the ball there. Good Very little, Coates, obviously. Headlock. Good spoil there by Code. The ball goes out of bounds. Not long to go in the second quarter. Rammers by 31 points. Gone out to a fairly commanding lead. Ball comes down to Southern. Can't get rid of it. It's a good tackle by Dolan. Umpire decides to throw it up again. Uh, something that Tommy don't need to do. They need to get to knock the ball out as much as they can, get it clear, get their runners going. To Braden Southern, he's a real prime example. And uh, that's a good mark. Great grab by Daniel Gordon. Young Gordon. And uh, he's got that mark against Quentin Nagel, which is no mean feat. Pick the ball up, very strong, holding on the, on the wind. Kane White's read the ball better. Um, Scott Rammers didn't see where the ball was, and uh, Kane's going to have a line up. But gee, this wind's strong. It's even though it's only about 30 metres, it's uh, going to be a difficult shot from there, Pacer. He's going to have to pick from about 35 to 40 metres out. It's going to be a tough one, but he'll give it a third shot. Pick the ball along as he's getting up close. 
going to pull short. Hang on, the going to Oh, I don't know, what's that? No, 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 the gun went like that, it's yours. Uh, it's not a... Uh, but uh, quick note, well, everyone stopped thinking it was going to be a goal. But Bart Higgins got across the curse. Curse got it, going to pass. Then the four lines, he's done. Oh, I know he's aimed for Simmerman, but well done by Adam Richardson. He's blocking it off across half back. So doing it well here, Rammers out of the fence. Scotty Black, who's got a lot of space out here. Gonna have a couple of bounces. Not a very good handball to wave, but he's good enough to kick it up. Blacker again, used the bell well, swings under his left foot, looking for Walker. Good work there by Ken Tumby. There's the half time siren, Jimmy. And it sees Rammers for 7 goal 6 48. Tumby Bay 2 goal 5 17. It's a 31 point ball game to Rammers. So he certainly played the better footy that half. Yeah, they certainly did. That, that quarter sort of made it pretty difficult for the Tumby Bay sides because they had the win against them, but Rammers did make better use of the ball. here at the uh, Lock Oval when uh, ready for the second half. Uh, the pressure's right on here for Tommy Bay to uh, make use of this strong breeze. Uh, Simon Peddler's already got the knockdown of uh, Tiger Cabot. Simon kicks a stab pass out. Jim Holman's got it on that wing and he passed it up to uh, Froggy Dolling. Good movement by Ramblers already. That's uh, something that's start already, isn't it? That's not what Tommy Bay need to do. Uh, they need to make the most of this. Froggy Dolling kicked the board and Joel pits the same aim out. Well patched by uh, uh, Higgins. Higgins got the board to uh, uh, young, uh, oh, who we got here? Well, it was Fitzgerald and then it's tackles. Right, Sean down. Waits gone down. Warner. 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 Yeah, Ghostly Warner. Been tackled by Mickey Cronin, number 21. Good smother by Scotty Draper, picked up by Mickey Cronin. Picks the boy out of defence and Adam Richardson just got a hand on the ball there, caught and touch. Had to Jimmy Holman, good smother there by Curtis, good work by Curtis. A strong tackle by Holman. I've been Holman mixing uh, I've been mixing Mickey Kramer up there a bit with Annie Allen too because there wasn't a 21 in your uh, in your budget and I've uh, overlooked Mickey. I'm sorry me, you're a champion and uh, good to see you out there getting a lot of kicks. Keep the work up. Anyway, there goes Quentin Nagel. He's got on his left foot. Tyson Waits at centre half forward. He he's really can't get hold of the ball, but Scott Rams can. And he's kicked that off the side, but it's going towards Froggy Dying again. Froggy's got the ball. He tries to handball. Play on. Yeah, Scott Black has picked it up, though, and the Rams are putting the pressure on. Scott Black are running now straight through into the middle of the goal, towards the goal. And on, I'm sure he's scored, but he's got only a, a one minor score. Good set up there by Rambler, so they in the breeze there well. It's early sign. Not good, yeah. is it? No, Tommy wanted to get the ball out the middle in the first bounce and get a quick one on the board, but hadn't happened. So Kerry Frank, he kicks the ball out and finds Curtis. Another good kick. Mickey Crum comes in to win the Shepherd. Curtis goes back now, looking for options. Not much getting foam up there. Kicks the wobbly ball forward to Kane White. That was uh, Scott Mickin. Scott Mickin. Been pinged for a throw by the look. Free kick to Edna Clark here for Tumby Bay. He goes back. Good go long. Ricky Clark back on the ground for Tumby. It's a wobbly kick. Goes forward. Crescent makes the ball for Ramblers. Can't pick it up. Goes in again. Treasuring again for Tumby. Good work by Crescent. Have another ball right. Well met then by Crescent. Lee Clark with the ball and kept it in front of him. Did well. 
Umpire throws the ball up just to allow Senar Ford to Tummy Bay. Up goes Kane White against Scotty Nickham. Daniel Borden in for Tummy. And again, Ash Warner is down Head down. Gets his handball out. Nagel in there for Rammers. Bart Higgins for Tummy. Fleming there for Tummy now. Ben tackled by the Mixon out of the ball. Yes. He's been given a free kick. Fleming goes back now. He's been a good player, Fleming, hasn't he? He's, he's lifted uh, Tummy since he's been, he's been back. Did he, he start the season with uh, Tummy Bay? He did, yeah. Good had a brilliant good send back anyway. He has, a, has had a brilliant second half of the season. So the ball comes in now. Scott Mickham backhands it. Forward. Sets it up. Uh, Scotty Blacker again, he's playing a good game. Plenty of time. Brilliant with hand of foot. This guy kicks the ball on his left. He just lost feet and kicked the chip on, but cut there by Walker. Well held up by Yabby Ken. A couple of big fellas there to uh, tackle against there, isn't it? Pacer, though, they're, uh, they're very strong, Yabby. Yab Yabby's been a renowned uh, halfback for uh, for great flinders, and uh, Eugene Walker, very yeah, strong. He's been Cody. Cody wins the ball forward, Sean Mike gets a handball out. Well it's done, uh, Scott Rammers delivers the ball to the boundary line. Good footy there by Rammers, good strong fist to the footy. Toad Walker, Fleming, Southern with Johnson, gets a quick handball out. Ash Warner over there, over the footy, it's out of bounds again. Yeah, it's playing in the Rambler's hand already in this quarter. It's just not what Tommy want. They've just got to get it. They should have a, a game plan where it's all set up and they're, they're not using that game plan. They need to get it forward across to the centre corridor and make use of it. Rambler's have done it well and they can do it with the win. Up forward now, Ashley Fade. Good, good movement of the body. A little bit of a shove, but he's, a, he's got the mark. Anyway, too high there gets for Andy, Allen, then. Andy Allen. And uh, anyways, kick forward, forward now. Adam nice Mitchell. pick up by Adam Richardson, who handballs it along the pit, who slams it through the goals, and there's another goal for Rambles. It's just a, a clear a brute strength there that's got three for Rambles. Could be that goal then to Adam Richardson. He won the ball on the half back line for Rambles, kicked the long ball forward, butted up, got the handball again. And went forward again and ended up getting the handle of Joel Fitz. Yeah, yeah, right there. Adam Richardson has done everything right this game. He's been been there at all of where it counts. Anyway, there's a free kick there in the, in the centre. It's, uh, the ball's going to come back anyway. I guess uh, Craig Curtis, he's, uh, he's uh, got the ball now. Spot on him all the time. He's done well. He's tried hard, Barrett. I mean, he's won his first year of a pretty thrill, but you're right, he's under a lot of pressure. So. Yeah. But there's others, there's, well, you know, he's been nullified, but well, that's fair enough. And uh, But there's others like Fleming and uh, Kerry Franks runs off this half back. Oh, gee, he does that well. But anyway, Kerry can't do everything. So it's down at Waters. He's back under the ball. Ash is doing a great job. He's been he's won 10 best and fairest for Ramblers and three male medals in his career. What a, what an achievement. What that achievement, man, he's, he's out there and he's doing things. And uh, he's doing a great job. Up goes for Denton with the ball. Scott Mickens going to knock it over. There he goes down to Fleming. He's kicked it forward and the nullifying mark by Gary Crittenden. Old plugger it. Played a good Playing game. The so he has the lead. Gone back on Aaron Clark. Clark, uh, Pacey tells me, is carrying a, a hamstring and uh, he's in all sorts of trouble. But Richardson's got it across now. Warner's got it. The old hands. The old hands are pretty reliable in a grand final, I'd say. Pacer, and if you could have a couple of those sort of blokes in your side, you'd be, you'd be, uh, you'd be looking a lot stronger. Experience goes a long way in finals, and Warner's proved that again there. So. Yeah, no, Ash Warner, he's uh, certainly the greatest champion that's come out of Rambles for a long time, and uh, now down to Quentin Nagel. Quentin's got it on the back, half back line. He's kicking it forward. They're fighting for the ball. Uh, Diaby knocks it away from uh, Eugene Walker. And on the ground now, it's bottled up. But it's handball, cross, coming towards Tommy Bay player there, and Kemp. He, he, oh, Code, Code brother, Fleming. he's, Fleming's got it, down Gary forward, Franks and, and Franks and Rammers. But gee, um, what, a, what a duel that'll be, Franks and Rammers, if they, they're standing each other, that's great, isn't it? Because yes, there's uh, two great players. Two of the young stars, Tyson Mike, Dwayne Treasure, Treasure keeps his feet. Oh. He illegally tackled him and pulled him back with that ball. He's the three there, but he's handballed it out to that man, Simon Pepper. He kicks the ball forward. The contest here between... Ash Faye and Palmer, Dolling against Rams on his left, that's a good kick. Fitzgerald tried the ball well, but good draft it by Dylan Higgins there for Tumby. Out to Curtis, Curtis gets a handle off to Nolan in particular. Straight to Eugene Walker, he kicks the ball to Dolling and Kramer. Kramer goes early, but then does well to butter up. Jim Holman and 
What's happening there? It's a free kick to Dolling. Well, Dolling ran across and uh, somehow the like, umpire obviously uh, uh, saw him get a little bit of a leg. Jimmy, so. And uh, yeah, well, he's got a bit of a leg. It was there, but I think the umpire's been pretty kind. But Chief Froggy's a good player. He's he just player. fantastic. Look at the guy. He's lined up for a goal again. How many times have you seen that? He kicks the ball forward. What a beautiful kick. And it's going off to the side, but uh, off hands for a No, it's not. It's, uh, She's off hands and uh, there's going to be a throw in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Bit hard for Cromer there over in the pop though. He's up against three blokes and yep. did his best, but unfortunately go the way through. Wait for Ramblers, tries to bustle three. Bart Higgins does well. Well done, Ramblers Bart. Allen. Good work there by Bart. And brilliant kick by Andy Howard. And Johnson no. marks the ball. Johnson's got the ball, yeah. Got He's Bart leading for him, white deep. Now Laurie makes the lead. Not much, he's gonna have to go to Clark, I think, and now doubles back with Curry. That's one of that, five strength for Amos, Jim Harmon, Reese Wall. Well done. I think that's a three. Yeah. He calls that a throw, because that's over there, you can't, can't do that. We're yeah, not playing that ball, man's not a woman, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> good, good decision, we're gonna man. play this game of football here, girls, so uh, you won't mind my comments. Anyway, out Great across the Braden Southern, Southern, and he's got the ball on the half floor. Ricky point. Clark just bombs it in long, threatening in front. Does well, good contest by Clark. Daniel Borden runs under the footy for Tunny Bay. Picked up by Micken, who goes out to Threatening. In there is Magel for Ramblers, he picks up the ball. Well done, good handball out. Scotty Blacker runs under it. Wanted to provide the shepherd, this is good play by Ramblers. They run the ball out. All froggy going, he's a bit casual there with the one hand, but. Yep. Kramer does well, butters up again, good contest with Blacker. Taking the wind out of his sails there. Can't see that is for Amos, but it's Jimmy Holman out to Tarro. Tarro kicks the ball forward, it's a trigger to kick, but Walker provides a contest. Picked yeah, up sure by might. Danny Waite. Here we go, Adam Richardson, you think he's part of the veil here, and it does. No, it doesn't. Well, there you go. Well, well you was on him, Jimmy. <laughs> no, you don't see Adam Richardson miss goals like that. Ramos lead by 37 points. Franks yet another good kick finds Dylan Higgins. Takes the mark. Tummy pushes long. It's a good long kick for the code against Pedler. Over both of their heads, running to run under the ball for Tummy. Goes to give, but instead tries to kick forward. Ricky Clark is hobbling and not looking well fit out there. Threatening in again for Ramos. Zimmerman comes in for Tummy. Good effort there by Laurie, I think it was for Tumby, crashing hard. Came white. It's a bit of a <laughs> bit of a today beyond play, but nothing in it. Rams nice. came out, Jimmy Harmon again, he kicks out to Scotty Mickin, he's got an absolute paddock. It's a shepherd on beyond play, Cabot yeah. and Curtis. Cabot's been dropped down by uh, Curtis. Curtis is frustrated there. Adam Richie takes the mark. He's yeah. forward of a win for Rammers. He looks up for options, finds a short one. Bernie Wade. Wade. He's opposed against two tummy players and goes out of bounds. Out of bounds and he's come, come off his foot, hasn't it? Um, I think it might have played with his foot there. So. But, uh, you notice here, like, Craig Curtis got rid of uh, Andrew Cabot there behind the play, and uh, I guess that's, that's he's uh, had enough of him hanging on yeah. to him all day. But, gee, Tiger's done the job, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Played well. He's, he's done, the, done the job for Ramblers. Kept, kept uh, Curtis completely quiet. Anyway, the ball comes forward up there for Rams towards Walker, but it's Dolling. Dolling in the front of the pack. Obviously, he's got the, got the jump and the reach. He pulls it down. He kick, kicks it forward. Oh, look at that. Fitzgerald. He won't drop it. He doesn't drop those marks. There's uh, this lad. If you can put it out in front of him, uh, those hands are strong. He's got soft hands, and they do hang on. Good opposition there by Dylan Higgins, but he's just too good then. Fitzgerald is a good, strong grab. He'll be lining up there, he's on the 50 metre line, the mark, so uh, as you can guess, he'll be, he'll be over that. So the wind has dropped out again. That's something uh, Ram has ordered for the day, a bit, yep. bit quiet early in the quarter. So fit, you can have to kick this ball 45 metres or close to 45 metres into the wind. Although that wind will stop, so it might be a bit of a chance. He goes back. Beautiful kicking action on the line. Up and slowed that way off to the right. Pretty yeah, on the fall. Pretty difficult shot for me, Jimmy. Oh, Mag oh, there's no doubt about that. That's a really awkward spot. Um, Joel is normally, he can kick those sort of distances, but that, they on that 50 metre line. That's pretty hard work into the breeze. Uh, now, Johnson's got it on the back line. I don't know where Johnson's been shifted his play because he's he hasn't been uh, everywhere. He's sort of been in and out of the game. He was good early. And uh, we, want to see him get, we need him to get back into the play. Throughout the loose man, 
Tell me you've got to get it out in the, on the open spaces. Frank, That's all there is to it. Forward with a big screw punch. He's played well. Peter Moose. Hammers tried hard. Moose, reliable back there from Hammers. Not many players behind him at the stage. He's flooding back. But good effort by Fleming. Part of the contest. Raises his hands, gets the handle out. In there is Scotty Blacko, taps the ball forward, Johnson picks it up on his left foot. Goes towards Rammers and Laurie, this will be a good contest, but Rammers show good wins out. Kicks the ball forward. Joel Fitz is coming up there, oh, and he didn't quite drop it. Grab it. That, couldn't grab it, Dolan's in there, going on his left leg. Gets tackled, like he might be holding the ball, but oh, cave off the ground. Johnson in there for Tumble, only one with the one hand. Ash Bay picks up the ball, Cabot for Rammers, off to Scotty Blacko. He slams it forward. It'll be high. Pretty oh. scrambly play there. Well, well it is, uh, Pace, but I reckon uh, Graham was getting a little bit fancy with their work there. and uh, A little bit of fancy. A couple, couple of times there. Simon, Simon Peddler's, Peddler's got the ball outside of 50 again, and he'll drill this goal. He does miss many. So uh, there you go. He had another shot of that. Well done but it, Jimmy. We'll put the mockers on him and have him. We, we yeah. have. Those two players would be the most two outstanding, greatest kicks at goal, but I guess from that angle it's not easy. They, we expect them to do everything. They've done everything all day. Sure. Certainly been the best two on the ground. Goes along the code. Good score there by Mickham. He battles up again, punches the ball forward. Cave slaps it on the Curtis. Curtis gets a hammer out the treasure. Treasure under his feet, goes slam the forward line, Fleming in position. Good work by Fleming. Well done, well Fleming. On his left leg, kicks it forward, Ricky Clark. Takes a grab. Can Andrew see Fleming. The, see the benefit there of keeping your feet. Back part of the goal is from here. He's directly in front. About 25 metres out. Yeah, he's a good player, Ricky. He knows, he knows where the goals are. He can shoot full forward all the time, regularly. Clark goes back. And he puts that through for a much needed goal for Tommy Bale. Three goal, six, 24. Well done, Tommy. Eight goal, 11, 59. Yeah, they look a little bit, uh, like they're normally a bit pacey, like they're pretty, pretty fast, and uh, they've got that ability, so they might as well knock it out in the open, get it ball forward at all costs, and go for it. But up in the square there he goes, Simon Peddler knocks it down, forward again. He's been winning the rucks all day. Tyson Waits got the ball on the bottom, Braden Southern's got it out, Braden's been good. Forward now, and Waddy is, is going to tackle Scott Rammers, but that Scott Rammers too strong. Scotty's been fantastic. Get it back now to uh, Quentin Nagel and, and Edna Clark. And Peter Moose comes through strength. Just experience, like they're, they're not fast guys. He's a, he's a, he's a talented Experienced player. Head over the footy there. They bottle it up. Rammers blokes come in in numbers, and that's been pretty good. They've uh, helped each other for the day, and uh, nothing beats experience. And that's what I think uh, where Tommy Bean is sort of a little bit mesmerised by that. They need to get it out on their own and run like hell. Down it goes to Nagel. He's got a that's great work from Adam Richardson. Dolling taps it forward, off the pack. To a Tiger Cabot. Well done. Froggy Dolling's all on his own, he'll, he'll make a space and kick it forward to Joel, Joel Fitz. Fitz has dropped the mark, but Dolling hasn't got it, but he's clever enough to get it on his boot. Get it forward to Ashley Fay, who will pick it up if he can. No, I've been tackled by Kerry Franks. But it's still going, he's got it up again, how did he do that? And it's gone through for a point. But gee, what an effort by Ashley Fay. Look, he's been, he's been sensational for uh, Rambler since he's come back with his long-term injury like his accident with his burn uh, that guy has made a difference for the rams team just having him back sort of lifted the side and it's probably done a bit of a psychological job on us as well yep. it's a credit to the boy he's a magnificent boy it's good to see him back you don't want to see anyone out that sort of injury so it's good to see him back and put him that's well a great mark there, that was sure a courageous mark wasn't it from that Holman, is it? jimmy holman the urban planner yeah he's got that ball He's given up navigating, but he's going to pass the ball forward. And uh, Ash Warner's got that. Gee, well, the old fox has got it. Not sure if he can get the distance from there or not. He looks to play on or No. He went sideways there, but can he make the distance from there again? Well, I, I think he'd probably try and pass it off. And there we go. There, there we are. So I, I think that's going to be the wise move. So Scott Black has got that. The bugle's going, and that's the cheer for Ash, because he's a real champion. Like I said, he's... He's a great man for Rams. But Scotty Blair, he's uh, a great captain, great leader he is. He's just lining up the ball now for, for his shot at goal. It's, it's a, probably a chance for him to... Uh, Getting close to the on the mark there. Yeah. He took that pretty casual, didn't he? But it's straight through the middle. Not why he's going to miss. He's a good leader. 
Well, I haven't seen too much casual, more casual than that. Umpire, throw to wife again. Curry to Pedler. Pedler taps the ball down well to Cabot. He's tackled by Curtis. No star, mate. 9-12, and it's now 66 to Tommy Bay. Yeah, Braden Southern's been in there. But Braden's been uh, really good, like today. Like, he's given us given a better run when, it, when the Tommy were going well. But he's the one that's got to lift him. He's got to get out on his own. The long was Craig Curtis. Craig's got the ball now. So he'll kick it forward. He does it beautifully. Cut off now by Rammers. Rammers has been one of the best players on the ground. Been fantastic. Joel Nagel's got the ball. Joel's uh, just been just come on. Uh, he's got a bit of pace. Quentin Nagel, his brother, passes it now to Rammers. Rammers going to run forward right down the cricket pitch, and he'll pass to Dolling. Dolling, what will he do? He, he, he's run off, and Faye's got the ball anyway. And Tigers, Tiger Carrot, he makes out he hasn't got the ball, but he was. He's well tackled, and umpire wasn't sucked in by that. Good contest, man. His umpire's done a good job today. But kept the game open and pulled the trees when they've been there. Yeah, no, that was fair enough too. That was uh, like uh, you, you can milk the freeze all you like, but you've got to got to uh, do it smart enough. Jacob Cave, he's come off bar back. He's a strong boy, but trouble is he's picked it straight down the side of Pedal's throat. Who so thought he'd go back and have a mark? He's going to kick it on now to Jimmy Holland. Jimmy's got the ball on the wing, and he's putting it forward down. Cade and Scott Black as well, but uh, off the pack and Adam Richardson's there again. Well, that man is always there. He does it beautifully on his right leg. That's a great kick. And what a kick. Wasn't it the experience? Like, under pressure and pushed it sideways. And, and, uh, and Fitzgerald, he's got it lined up now again. Great play. Played well, Joe Fitzgerald. Dylan Higgins has tried hard on him and, and done some good spoils, but just the amount of ball that he's had fed to him, Higgins found it a bit tough, but Fitzgerald leans back, pushes across the face. The big pack ties up and yep. Braden Southern rushes it through for a point for Rambler. I move on to 9.13 now, Tommy Bay 3 goal 6. I need to pull something out desperately here, Tommy. Frank pushes long. Another good kick. Curtis, that's a strong grab. Good hands. Curtis kicks that one high there. Yeah, good night from uh, Rambler. Good shepherd there by Cabot. Rammers gets the handle. Well done, Rammers. He's on his handle, wouldn't, wouldn't clear. But he's a bit too, too quick for Johnson, wasn't he? I thought Johnson was pretty far. He's right there again now. Drilling by foot. Scotty Blacker. Kicks in the edge and walks it Well, that was a magnificent pass. That was spot on. That was absolutely lace out. Well done, Ashley Faye. Well, well led by Eugene Walker, but he had a man alongside him. You can't blame him. There's no way a defender can do anything about that guy. He's played well today, Jared Kendall. I think he's had the better of, easily had the better of Well, there's a good kick for goal. Up in the back. Right in the goal square. But gee, the Rammers boys are pressuring, aren't they? Yeah. It's, uh, it's just uh, something that Tommy Ray's got to just to, uh, to, uh, to control the game. They've got to go through, right through the corridor, get down there as fast as they can, and use up this slight breeze that we have now, like the wind has dropped right out. It has dropped right out. See the flag for it's a plus of now, so it's no breeze to speak of. Just still slightly favouring his tummy's end. Bart Higgins, he's got the ball now, he kicks the ball forward. It's a nice kick to Fleming. Fleming's got the opportunity now to go forward, looks for Southern. A lot of Rambler players there though, Rambler goes in hard. Free kick to Tommy Bay to carry Frank. And he's head over the free end, good work Ralpha. Frank's tight. He's been probably Tommy's best player, Frank, in the day. He's played well. He has. Well. Kicks the clock. Put him under pressure a bit. Fleming goes in. Treasure for Tommy. Fleming again. He's battled hard, too. Another ball up from the umpire. Well, Den Denham's going to take the ball now. It's, uh, the game has slowed up. It's like uh, a bit of loss of enthusiasm there from Tommy Bay, I think. Looks like they have not conceding but by gee they want to get things moving pretty soon but young oh, that's good treasure he's got the ball for it he should do that but that's a great strong market fullback thank Gary Crettenden there's Ricky Clark carrying an injury Ricky also, Clark also got Latin out here Latin take the grab yeah Latin's got the ball on the uh, half back line for Rammers and Ryan, not many options here for him no no she's, everyone's sort of quiet now they think it's uh, game over but it's not she's got one and a half quarters to go Scott Mickens going for the ball. Kane Watts hanging on too long. Bad luck, boy. Scotty went for the kick and a good tackle, but uh, umpire calls that a holding on. So Luke Letton's going to play on. 
Down the half forward line to, uh, to Ashley Faye. This guy, you can't give him a, a, a bit of space because Faye is a great player. Like he's a great uh, footballer. Ashley Faye is square there at the moment. Going to put he, Long in there to die and Coach should mark Coach it. underneath it. They can't take the mark. Oh well, stacks on the mill. Oh, Bob's going to run in. Control this ball. Looking very ominous there. Rams oh. have been in attack for just about all this quarter. I think this uh, the hot weather has taken a toll on all the players. Both sides have slowed down considerably. They, it's uh, nearly Stopped come to a stop. They're happy to, uh, to to mull it up, and uh, it's going to cause problems for Tommy Bay because that's not what they need. They need to open it up and run. Ram was leading by 44 points, speaking in the third quarter here, going to make things Yeah, Curtis, to come Curtis back. is good at handball up across good the Southern. Those two are the dangerous. Southern kicks the ball in Kane White, Scotty Mickens, good effort by Kane White. Yeah, Joel Nagel, sheer numbers there. Good right numbers at the footy. Adam Richardson outnumbered here, good contest though. Bart Higgins gets a good handball out to Curtis, well done by Higgins, great work. Johnson will get that. That's Curtis Fitty by Thumby. Numbers on in the middle, they got Franks on in the middle. Choose to go wide of the park now. Well, not a smart kick. Well, it is. Warner was there, but gee, um, Edna Clark got the ball onto uh, Fleming. Warner's there, yeah. they're going to bottle it up. If you just want to kick long, that's what you're going to do. Break it up with Ramblers, you're no, no good wrestling all day. You've got to get it on long as you can and quick as you can. Good work there by Clark, it's out Petamonte to Petamonte, yes, he's in long, but it's all round as here. Let's let, let, let on his own, dropped a sitter. Gee, Luke, you'll, you'll, you'll have a beer and you'll laugh, laugh about that one tonight. Go on to Jimmy Holman. And then Jimmy's out on his own there, he's, he's had a paddock in the first half. He's been uh, been sensational in that early two quarters. Young Flemo is going to, uh, that's not Flemo, that's Stephen Laurie. Stephen, Stephen Laurie. Taylor's Holding stuff again, he's been brilliant today, clearly back on the ground. Simon Taylor doesn't drop the ball. It's going to ball that's going to be thrown in anyway. On the half forward line for Ramblers, we've got uh, Code rucking against Walkup. Walkup's the even battle. Stacks on the mill, grabbed in there. Everybody's having a go, so it's not going anywhere. Out, out it finally comes. Walkup got it out to uh, Adam Richardson. Adam Richardson always gets the ball. He does it to wash him. He ambles himself. On again to Froggy Dog. Froggy Dog is going to try and pick this up. He's got, a, he's got a tackle on there by Jacob Cave. Cave's doing his best, but he's got it, still got the hand pass out to Faye. Faye is dead. And he's held with holding the ball. Good on there, Kerry Franks. Gary Franks has been a great player for Tommy Bay. He's certainly uh, one of the uh, leaders of the pack this year for a Tumby. He's played not only well today, but he's played well for. Uh, for a long, long time this year, been one of the uh, stars. He's got it on the back line, he's going to line up, kick it down. Oh, he's trying to dodge the tackle, which he's done, done that well. Can't get much support out of his players, so he's got to play around the, around the plate. Walkup gets it forward. Adam Richardson has got it again. He handballs, but he, he's tackled. This time, Bart Cummins, he's got, uh, Bart, Bart Higgins, he's got the ball forward and uh, knocked down there to Pedler. He's got it, he's going to pass it in forward to Eugene Walker. Rams are too strong. They're trying to do man on man stuff. You can't do that against Rams. Rams are too strong. Joel Fitzgerald is going to go up there for that mark and he doesn't drop them either. Put it out in front of him, you can punch all you like. It won't get out of those beautiful hands. The big, strong, soft hands. He's going to bomb this one from 50 and probably be a fair chance. Well, now the wind's dropped out. She's down to zero. This boy can kick from his 50 metres. He's a really good clean kick of the ball. Fitzgerald leans back, kicks the ball along, doesn't quite have the leg. And the siren sounds as to end. Uh, Tommy Bayer are three goals six, trailing Rams, nine goals 16, and uh, they're in a lot of trouble. The last quarter here at the uh, lock over for the 2003 Grand Final. So it's Rambles in a commanding position at the moment, leading by 34 points. Tommy need to um, pull out all stops here and get the first couple of six goals and maybe build from there. The umpire throws the ball up. Code and Pedler go at it again, as they have all day. Treasure picks up the ball. He kicks on his left leg to Clark, who kicks it off the ground. That's good play. Good in, you can take the drive. Okay, got Megan there, half back. 
Kicks the ball forward. Ash Warner's on his own. Yeah, pass is good. No, Treasure didn't get there in time. He kicks the ball down now. Uh, Wade Nagel turns around. Oh, Luke Letton, brother. He handballs across down to Ashley Warner. No, Simon Pedler. Simon's got the ball down there on that wing. Uh, Joel Fitzgerald running around towards the half forward position, kicks across. But uh, Mickey Cromer can't pick the ball up. Gives it, let, let's Jimmy Holman have a go at it. Ashley Fay uh, cops a couple of tackles from Mickey Cromer. And uh, Jimmy Holman just casually just has a shot at goal for a point. I remember, good old Mick. Keep it up, boy. You've been a good competitor for a long time. And that's what you got to have. I like little Tigers like him. He's a champion. Anyway, last cross to Jacob K from Andy Allen. The ball came uh, back towards the, the uh, wing there for uh, in front of the coach's box. But, um, good on you, me. He's had a bit of a game. Someone's got to do it, and Mickey's going to do it to start up. He reckons he's going to get this team going. That's what they need. They need 18 blokes like that. Get in there and, and have a bit of a fire. Up. Jacob Cave, kicks the ball for him. There goes Kempi. Kempi's well strong, but gone, going gone just to half forward, Kempi. Gaunt is the best. He's playing one of Tommy's best players today, Kempi. He's a good honest player. Zimmerman's gone to half back. Kempi to half forward. No, he kicks the ball into Dylan Higgins. Dylan Higgins makes the ball. Yes, he's got the free kick there for a push out. Maybe not there, but then Paul's made it more or Well, all helps. So Dylan, <laughs> Dylan Higgins, who's winning this game out real well. He's got a appendicitis at the moment, which is a bit disappointing to young fella, but it's good yep. to see him out there anyway. So he's playing, been playing at full back. Right hard, so he goes forward. Tom Pebble yet again. Tom Pebble, that's just an afternoon lunch for him. He's a Mark great player, Tom Pebble. I think we're going to have to get him over with his missus at Tummy next year. Um, it's uh, not Brooke out there playing, it's Simon. So there you go, <laughs> Scott Blacker. But uh, I'll look after you any time. <laughs> there goes Scotty Rammers. Forward over the Donning's head. And also beats Joel Fitz as well. Jacob Cave's got it. And he's caught with the ball. Andy Allen picks it up. He's got around on his Come left foot. He's, set, he's found someone. He's got Stephen Laurie. Stephen Laurie's going to be running off the half back line. Good on him. He's got it up forward out to try and treasure. He should be doing more. He's been great early in the game. He's back into it. Let's go and uh, let's get Edna, Edna Clark going. He's got it quickly on his right foot. Great, great movement. Does it quick. Lisa attacking. They've right. got to do a few more of those things. There. They've just picked it up a bit, Tommy, which is good to see. They're going to go down at least, at least they've seen him go down properly. So the boundary umpire throws the ball back in. Ruck contest, oh. tap in the middle. Tom Pebble again, race the play. Out to Letton. Letton treasure, fight for the ball and it goes out of bounds. Another throw in. You know, that's what they need, those runners. Oh, no, that's how but Tommy win their games. They, they move it well, like that. And uh, young Dwayne Treasure, he's a, he's a key card for them. He's got to move it fast. The Abbey's up against Clawton. They, they ruck it. Treasure's got it again. Oh, I think they might have been Fleming. But anyway, up they go. Knock forward. Quentin Nagel's hit it. Towards Zimmer, uh, uh, Edna Clark. Straight into uh, Pedler. Who's Simon Pebble, you can't keep him out of the game. He's well, he's nullified that. Didn't he ever? He stopped a certain goal for Tumby. He's, he's been brilliant today, Pebble. Well, I reckon he could play for Arsenal after that. <laughs> what do you reckon? He'd be better than Manchester than United. <laughs> Fantastic little effort. Good save. He's got good skills. Fretman kicks the ball in long. That's a good long kick. He's got Ramos there and Jimmy Holland. Jimmy Holland. Jimmy, Jimmy Holland's dominated this wing all day, hasn't he? Well, played well. Jimmy Holland goes back. Young Wade Nagel. Handles up to Nagel. I thought Nagel was really good in the second quarter for Ramos. Gets the handle out there. Ramos up to Gordon. Gordon well up to Brock Damer. Wade Nagel gets the line. New team off with his strength. Joel Nagel's in there for Ramos. Yeah, Dolan just picks player. it up, takes off. Good hand. Scotty Blacker somehow finds space, does it beautifully. Actually fires out there on his own. All again. Play well, play, play. Scott Blacker's brilliance has been telling from the start of play today. Scott Blacker, we haven't mentioned enough of that, Scotty, because uh, his uh, reflexes and his drive out of the centre, he sets it up for 
everybody. And uh, what a brilliant effort from him. Being high on the best players in the ground, Scotty Blacker. He's had not wasted too many touches. He's brilliant yep. with hand and foot. And well, Scotty is the captain. A lot of space. So yeah, he's, he's the captain well. and he leads by example, and uh, he certainly shows them how to do it. Joel Nagel lines up for goals. Normally a reliable kick. Kicks the ball right wide to the right there, and uh, umpire Jolly uh, picks up a point there. A lot of hands on head out there. Not in the best positions at the moment, and, and feeling the pinch of all the looks. So. Terry Frank, he's probably one of his best player. Brings the ball in with great courage, he takes the mark. Great okay, kicks the ball out wide. Stephen Lowe, Stephen Lowe's tried hard, done some good strong work. He kicks the ball forward and finds him, and he could take an easy mark and go. Zimmerman's been back. quiet. Kicks the ball forward, that's a terrible kick. Out on the ball. Well, he won't be pleased with that effort. <laughs> I'll, I'll suggest the, uh, they've got a few uh, yards out of the uh, boundary umpire there. Good spoil there by Young Connor. boundary umpire Josh Hancock, he's pretty good on that little boundary line. Look at him, he's doing his best, he's doing a great job. He'll have a beer, he'll well earn beer after this game. Anyway, the ruck go to it and it's, uh, Eugene Walker's got it crosses, Jimmy Holman. Braden, oh Braden Southern has kicked the ball out of bounds and Josh, Josh saw that and he's given the, the free kick to Ram. Well done, Scott Lagg's got the ball now. <laughs> yes, he wanted to cross it. He dropped a chest mark. Best banner I've ever seen where he's boxy shorts under his footy shorts, but nonetheless, he's done well. Yep. Ball well, comes out. Catamonte takes the mark. Yeah, pull your boxer shorts up there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> the commentary's getting messy. Clark's a anyway, day. can't give it off. They look they're a good <laughs> colour, they, they match the shorts. Bill and Higgins for Tommy Bay takes a good mark. He yeah. should go back and have a shot from Gary. He's on a bit of a tight angle, but. No, he's going to pass off to Fleming, and he's put that out beautifully. That is a great kick. Wasn't that ever? Fleming over the run. In one of the highlights. Higgins up at full forward. That's good, doesn't it? Like, he's just looked back. Got an opportunity there. Yeah. And that's right. what he keeps setting up so nicely. You know this Tony Bay side. They're a good side. They just got to use their skills, and that's why it's done now. But you can't. But they've just got to do that run on. And uh, Fionn Flemo, what a great effort from him. He's been a good uh, recruit back again for you. He has, yeah. He's a good player, Flemo. So the ball goes up now in the centre of the ground. Tommy needs to get straight back and get another goal to have any hope. Star made of attack. Co gets the ball out to Johnson. Johnson kicks forward. Petamonte, that's a good effort. Could have earned a free kick there, but didn't. Could have. Owen picks up the ball, kicks it forward. Jake Cave, good work on going, but going butters up again, uses his pace, gets the ball out. Stephen Laurie gets it forward to Johnson, then Shepard's well. Good work by Laurie. Johnson goes forward to Kemp. Kemp works hard, gets pushed off the ball, but butters up again. Good strong work by Yabby Kemp. Done well there. Ball still live, Mickey Kramer off the ground. Battled hard, Juicy Kramer, he's done well. Good on Mickey. Forward. Rammers picks it up, picks it back, Mickey Kramer again, fumbles it, gets it off again. Well done, Mickey. He's done a good job. He worked hard for that. He worked hard for that. Big Cody takes the mark at center four. It's in the Dylan Higgins. He's riding up. It's a bit of a poor kick. He sets him. Scotty Nickham bounces up, kicks the ball up, kicks it long forward towards Nagel. Joel Nagel, run like a hare. Kerry Franks, too experienced. He's a champion, this bloke. Kicks the ball forward. Flaming there for Tommy Bay on his left. Four kick to Kay, the Kay butters up, gives it to Curtis. Curtis, that's a good tackle by Black. Gee, Scott Black has been good at that one all day, hasn't he? He was a brilliant tackle. He's, he's read the ball so well. Nagel for Rambles, picks up the ball, kicks it long. That's well done, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it's, it's got Borden. Daniel Borden. Grab. Borden's going to shoot out from the back, back pocket. Cross to Allen. Allen's got that right, wide on the flank. He's going to kick with that left leg. Cross to Fleming. Fleming's got it now towards the centre, but he's, he's, uh, not near the, he's near the square. Cross to Zimmerman. Zimmerman's picking up a couple of kicks in this quarter. Cross to Mickey Kramer. Mickey's lifting the side. He's doing his best. He's putting it forward in front of Yabby. What a pass. Well done. Anyway, right, got it going. Now follow it up near. Oh, oh, Hanford's blowing on whistles, but he's blowing this. That brain stuff is right. Oh, it's in That's what that Solo's here for. Nathan Johnson come into the game all of a sudden. And around it, Dylan Higgins. Now that's what it's all about. Well done, you guys. Nathan Johnson hasn't done enough of around the ground. He hasn't worked hard enough. He's, he's got to uh, lift his game and work harder like young Mickey Kramer. He's lifted the side. Mickey has done well. 
but then get on his line up for goal, we wrap him up. But you can only finish it off as well as you can, and uh, unfortunately, he pulled that one. He was looking for a strong breeze there, the pacer. He was looking to bring it back, but it just didn't quite happen. Brett anyway. pushes off Simon Pebble yet again. He's had leather poison today. New touches. He goes back, puts the ball forward to Moes. Moes hadn't had a lot of the footy, but he's been serviceable. Hadn't put a foot wrong. Kicks the ball out towards John Nagel. Quick score by Franks again. Yeah, no, Nagel's got it on his own. He's, he's got rid of Franks just like no problem at all. He got across to his uh, cousin there to Wade. And uh, Wade Nagel's got that ball in the centre of the ground. Right up by the cricket pitch. He'll pass it on, down to uh, Froggy Don, over his head, but actually Faye's got it on a string. Faye gets it across to Don, because three punters. He'll run around, got the rid of the ball, hand pass, got caught though. Uh, back across here now. To Nathan. Get it from the back flank. He'll run around here on his left leg. Which he down to Broden Southern, that's where he's out in front. Yeah. Miles in front. He's got on the wing. Yeah, right in front of the coach's boxes. Gets it across to the middle of the ground. They're, they're chopping. Changing Tommy Bay. They need to go more. Cody's got it in the middle. He's going to kick down to half forward. Out in the low leaders, Dylan. Dylan Higgins has bloody been really good up there. He's presented up well, yeah, hasn't he? Done well, Dylan Higgins. He's done well in this quarter. No, he's, he's passed it off. Shot him. Good pass. pick up by Cam. He's but, played well for Tummy today too. He's battled his heart out. Higgins for Tummy Bay. He's weighed down by that beard he's trying to grow. But he kicks the left leg to Edna Clark. He nearly takes the grab. Can't quite contain it. And Cretman yet again for Rambles. He's played a good game, Jimmy. Cretman at that full back there has been unstoppable, hasn't he? He's read the play really well. And a bit of pressure coming from uh, Higgins this quarter. But, gee, he's controlled all day. Well done, Gary Cretman. Cross now to uh, uh, Petamonte. was like a bar. Bart got it. Curtis has got it across now to Mickey Crumman. Mickey Crumman has got a voice as loud as anyone's I've ever heard in on a second. Anyway, he gets the foot and Simon Pebbles gets stopped by Hank Higgins again. And that gets him a chance to have a shot at goal. Higgins plowed it into the post. It would have been the goal they needed. Jimmy would have bought him within five goals and given him some sort of hope. But Randall's defend again. Yeah, I guess I... Ever alive with Simon Feather, he's just played a boomer today. He's been brilliant. Yeah. Been both ends of the ground. And yeah, but Simon Simon likes his photograph taken too, you know. Like, Adrian Teeler and him are pretty good close friends and uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy their, their camera work together. Hello, Probably be a male nice model before long. Anyway, on to Ash Warner, he's got that ball down forward. Oh, Froggy Dying's got too quick there, a bit of pace there. Pretty over for Jake Cave. And, uh, but, it's pressure's on. Oh, that's too high there for, uh, for Holman. And uh, who's picked Borden. it up? Danny Borden, Borden. yep. Held in the um, umpire, says I'll have that. He's still going to slow it down, but he's been letting it go. I think the umpires have let it go pretty well today yeah, and, and let the game flow. There's no problems with it at all with the umpires. They've done a great job. So, as usual, you know, we're always lucky enough to have these Midwest guys down and they're fantastic. Up goes Quentin Nagel. He knocks it forward. Down and away from Petamonte. No, still, Petamonte's in there and he's been battling against three players. Eh? Tyson White's there, Dolling. We've also got Cove. Oh, we're close now. Hitting back there. We've got Dolling there in front of us. Kicked the ball off. The, 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 the treasure. The treasure's got him on his click. He's good hands. Yeah. He's so got a free kick. Straight up to Rear Franks. Knocks the ball forward. Quickly Tyson. Got a ring of steps off him. He's got that ball. Yeah, I've got that one. It's smart. They smart. Fleming's got it. Yeah, that's good boy, good voice there by Clark. He's called for the ball and received it. And a good kick by Clark. He's going around him. Well. Would be a little bit play on, I would say. Play on. Yeah, Kicks in to Dylan Higgins. He's got that opportunity. He's taking a good grab. No, hasn't been paid. Curtis. Hasn't been Runs paid. up again and kicks well, up the ball for Tumby. I think that was a well deserved goal because Craig Curtis was smart enough to pick the ball up, but young Higgins was well held by uh, Scott Micken. It should have been a free kick, but That's Higgins didn't get the ball. Beating now 5 8 38 and Ramblers uh, 9 14 68. So, exactly yeah. a five goal lead here to Ramblers, but you never know. If somebody get the next one out the middle and slam on a goal, it might. Uh... Simon Pedler, nullified. Not full. Oh, Ramblers. Kerry Franks, always reasonable. He's picked up. Grab by Eugene Walker. And uh, I'm going to go the grab the ball and toss it up. Sam and. One of those games where it's a lot of nullifying, but that is. Well, it's okay. 
No, he's a good strong boy. No, he's a, he's a good lad too. Well, anyway, he out here. Treasures has the opportunity to come. He's black in there. Warner for Randall's. Sean, Sean, mate, Johnson. Curtis well done, Curtis. Curtis, Curtis has come alive. Low. Kicks the ball in. Dylan Higgins yet again. Provides the option. Spoils well and butters up again. That's good play by Higgins. Handball out to Curtis. It gets it on the camp. Kemp can have a ping at goal. Kick it long to Edna Clark. He's in a good position to mark. Oh, Cretton again. Cretton comes again. in. Oh, it's not so hard by Cretton. He's totally out of position. And then you've got Jimmy Holman in to back him up. Craig Curtis is coming along. What are you saying? He's got an extra leg. He's got an extra leg and... Uh, and uh, the Nagel for Bramers. Well, I wasn't on that one. I think there was much in that one, Jim. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go with him. Down the field here. There goes Cardi. He's got the mark on his chest. You're going to pick that up and kick the ball forward. Tommy, where's... Uh, Listen, Franks. Are you kicking the ball up here now? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, Clark got it. He was leading, but... Back back. I wouldn't have made that better. But Mickey Clark is still there. He's still going to get away. He's clever enough to get away from Corton. Straight up in the air. Simon Pedler cuts that off. He's running towards Craig Curtis. They have been good mates. Craig Curtis has done a dive. He's going to look like he's going to be uh, going to uh, apply for Hollywood. But that's a goal to Cundy. But that's a great goal forward there. Was that Higgins there? Kick that I forward, Pacer? I, I think so. I was watching, I was watching, I, here, I was watching uh, Craig Curtis's um, his Grammy Award there. It was a good effort from Craig because he, he's been right and he's trying anyway. Helps out Tommy Bay because they need a bit of help. He's back to four goals now, so it's put a little bit of interest back in the game. Yep. Let me get a quick run out of here. Yeah, the scores. Ram was nine goal fifteen to, to Tumby Bay, six goal seven. It's uh, it's only three goals on the on the uh, big goal scores, but uh, it's a, a long way to, to go in this final. Up goes Simon Pedler and and Kay. they knock it. They nullify. Here comes Joel Nagel. He's got a he's runs it forward over the foggy oh, oh, dong. He's picked he's better than others. Two Tumby defenders. He's just in the right spot. Good pass there from Edna. Doggy's going to go back and take time. Settle the round. That's the Ramblers way. They'll, they'll settle down. Take up. Wait for a, a tall forward to get down there. But I think Froggy can make this distance. It's no, no real wind at all. But uh, he can kick it a long way. What a kick. Well, great goal. That's just that was on the 50 metre line and that went well over the post. Great kick. Great kick at goal. This boy, he's got it, and uh, don't let him get it anywhere around that goal line, or that uh, 50 metre goal line, I'd say, Pacer. It was a great kick. I mean, Tumby Bay challenged a bit there, and class of doling to bang one from 50 out and put them back five in front. And... Too much out of their reach at this stage. We don't like to say that because it's not over till the fat lady sings, they tell me, but I don't, don't know about that. I think she's up on the stand and clearing her throat right now. So yeah, yeah, well, well as long as she keeps her underwear on. No worries. <laughs> There we go. We've got Ash Warner there on the far forward flank. He's going back that number six. He's fucked. Well, handles like a froggy dong. This guy will run around, kick up left leg, and uh, probably. Yeah, it's 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 uh, not not a fancy goal, froggy, but uh, you know it's uh, good to have a bit of flair and that. Going here. Don't stop it, Mickey. Yeah, well, you're a fantastic. So Mickey Crumb. Talk about him. Grab a couple of blokes up. A bit late for that. But uh, these young blokes got a bit of talent. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Jerry Thompson got the ball out there again for Tommy Bay. Looking for options. He, and Tommy's best player, I think, today. He's tried hard all day, had plenty of the city, and, and he's not wasted too much of it. He kicks out of Cody Jim, and Adam Mixon takes the footy and kicks a long bomb. No, well, Way she's back to the right of the off to the right. And ready for a point. Yeah, Adam would probably be disappointed with that because he likes to uh, kick. He passes off now to young Braden. Braden Southern. He's been a good player for Tumby. Andy Allen can hold his head high. Done a fantastic job. Can't do any more than what he's done. Out there to young uh, Treasure. Treasure. Treasure, yep. yep. And, and Kerry, across the Kerry. Kerry was an inspiration in the first half, running off the half back line. And now we've got uh, Moose. Hey, Moose. Simon's crossed to Simon Pedler. Simon's got to probably take his time. Just blast it off somewhere. 
Didn't kick it that well. Oh, I guess he's getting tired he's been kicking. Yeah, big one. It's all leg. It's all leg? Yeah, you can walk it. It's uh, probably done a great job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Sean White got across. So then we've got Scott Black, who's been fantastic. Oh, no, he's, he's tackling. He's oh. This is a complete f***er, isn't he? He's a strong little bugger. Yeah, he's been good with his tackle today and brilliant with his skills. So. Tyson, Tyson White, White, beautifully bred boy. He can hit the ball up there. Oh, <laughs> great mark. Man. Wasn't that a fantastic mark from Jimmy Holman? Holman. He's played a boom this week, Jimmy Holman. Yep. Been a, been a big inclusion back into the Rams side after the year. Yes, no, he's, he's certainly uh, he's done a fantastic job since coming back from the Air Force and uh, been a real asset to Ramblers. The urban developer, I call him. Urban planning. <laughs> No, he's going to get this navigation of this goal. He'll get this navigation right through the centre of the goal. Quite a talented lad, Jimmy. And uh, we're, we're very privileged to have him on. Probably about to play the game all day. It's quite a time, but they've uh, held tight since that stage. And they've got to get out and win the 8,000 three premiership. Well, the riding's on the wall now. It's not like it's not on, but it's all over, really. 20 bay boys have got their heads now. They've put in as much as they could. It's probably not suiting them in a way because maybe it's been too hot for the world on a cut of black out And he'll run in and probably. Oh, well done, Scott Blackett. He has played well. Scotty Blackett has played so well. It's fantastic. Moves well all around the ground. Does all the hard work. And then, now he's having a bit of a bit of a joy at the end for him. Ball goes up again. Toad and Tethers have done all day. Blacker again. Gets the ball out towards White. Picked up by Terry Frank. He's tackled by Nailu. Oh, that's, that's pretty tough, it's isn't pretty it? Hot. Okay. I'd oh, say that was very tough. Good, good around the fire but it was pretty hot so. but this boy young Joel Nagel he's a star that boy he can be anything he's he's a great athlete he's, he can run 100 meters in, in nine seconds I'm sure but uh, anyway he's got it Ash got it across back to Eugene back to Ash handball that's a bit of a train I don't know what's going on here but they look like they're playing around for a wasting time it's probably uh, dying we'll try and get it much straight opposition but uh, tell me back up there with Kerry Frank's stuff around he got it Got across. Right. Adam 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 and uh, actually Joel has done a, still done a great job. Fantastic with yeah, Treasure. Gets it on to Cody. Cody's gonna mark this one. Second grab, give him a go. No way. He's gonna have to earn it. Anyway, Bart coming. Uh, Bart Higgins, <laughs> I keep saying coming. He's got it forward. Brad Clawton's gonna intercept. He's first to the ball. So saluted them all. Scott Nicken, he's got it across. Moose has got it. Moose is a magnificent defender. Everyone would like one of Moose's in their team. And he's got three sons. If you can get three in your tide, you're home and eyes. Now Andrew Cabot. He's going to get the ball forward. And Joel Fitz is coming strong and hard. It's all Come on. And a ball. Andy Allen's on the left. He's back to the end for one. He'll bounce it up again. Throw it up. Up it goes. You didn't move it. 29. That's it now. Clark. Oh, Sean White, he's got the ball. He's he's got the ball. I'll go him across for another point. No, no it's not. It's out of bounds on the top. Sean White's been holding up pretty well. He's done a good job out there. Well done, Sean. Mickey Carmel, what a little team. He's a buzzer, buzzer, as ever. Fantastic. He's lifted this side. Give him something to aim at. Take a risk, have a go. Unfortunately, Edna Clark overruns it. Tiger, uh, Scott Blacker. Scott Blacker's got it. They can't grab hold of him. He just has the handball across the Sean White. He's caught. Kerry Franks has got him, but it's too late. The ball's clear. It's Froggy Don's just thrown in. Clark and uh, they'll bounce the ball again. Tackle there by Darling. Was a good tackle. He's uh, pretty quick on the hands of his young Jacob Cave. Now we can see who's on under the ball. The umpire throws it up. That's close. Just out. It's in the centre for position. For Rambles. Where's his under there? He's cool. Now he's got the ball. No, it's uh, another boy. The boys are looking very tired. In the city, I did a reheat. 
It's going to be right up the was today. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of uh, he liked it wet pretty badly, so. I think it was like to drink water tonight. <laughs> they will. Oh, there goes Craig. Yeah, that's right. It's a thumbie. Oh, yeah. well. Gets the ball and he's beaten out. He's got that one. He's just played it. No, he's lost along the ball. He's played a good one too. And he's been on the ground. Well forward. Up oh, he's had a mixed thing for that. One is the thumbie and four. And Paul will take the ball and we'll have another bounce. <laughs> <laughs> it's our head trainer here, Stewie Modra. He's a fantastic man. He's doing a great job there. Carrying the esky down and get the ice for the boys. Holding them up. Anyway, cross down to Southern. He's got it cross down to Curse. Curse. Play on, they said. Southern back again. He's kicked it forward. Straight down to Cretton. He's nearly marked it. Clarks in front of the ball. Holding a good position. Yeah, break away like from Wade Nagel. Well done. Well done, Damien Clark. The ball's kicked forward. Oh, it's just a good out of the That's a stealing heat he nearly Gets a long hand work, still mate, from 50. Goes bang. And he has a point. Put it through for a point for the tractor. The siren is sounded. So, congratulations to Ramblers, who were the first 2003 premiership. They've uh, done it in style and overall the same. Yeah, well, that's fair enough, Pacer. It's uh, been a fair old battle for Tummy Bay, and they've done. It. They've come from a long way behind this year. They could have been battling to get in the full. They've finished off the season mighty well, and they should be very proud of themselves. They had a bit of a bad day today. Come up against it. a good side, and uh, none of the was who know how to play. Simon Pedley was just making the last. That's from Jackson Hall. Was brilliant. Great captain's game. Adam Richardson and Glenn was there to be one in the first. He was brilliant. Thought Crenton was also good. The back line, the whole way in the back line was strong. Getting around with that, two can come and take out three quarter time. So, uh, bit of a case. All played well, but left one player stand. Yeah. I think the Tummy Bay oh, Terry Franks is the best player. Uh, I thought Jared Campy got the land on huge walker from the first three quarter. Yep. Still going forward. Yep. Uh, and Treasure and Curtis uh, in and out of the game, but tried. Uh, and I thought Stephen Lowry tried hard at home. So, but overall. Ramblers just too classy on the day. Yeah, no, I agree wholeheartedly. You've got that summed up beautifully. But uh, there's been great players. Like you say, it's pretty hard to pick good players for Ramblers. But, gee, Simon Pedler set the game up, didn't he? And him and Adam, Adam Richardson, Scott Flacker, uh, all those guys. Even, even uh, Scott Ramblers on the back half yeah, back line. Well. Oh, gee, he really was good. fantastic. But Jimmy Holman, oh, oh, look, you can go on and on and on. But uh, well done to Ramblers. Uh, they had the experience. And the Froggy Dolling, oh, gee, is that boy good? And uh, what, what, what sort of a team is that? So uh, congratulations to Tommy to making the grand final. I, I respect them so much. They're a great club. Bad luck for this year, but good luck to Rams. It was a great week. of the team to uh, introduce his players and Kelly Smart, the patron of Great Friends, will present the medals.
Uh, yes, uh, firstly I'd like to say, um, oh, of course, well done to our guys. It's been a, a great award for a great year. Uh, commiserations to Tumby. They worked hard, really worked hard this year. Yes, been developing a good side. Congratulations for making the finals today. And uh, you had a tough one last week. Well done. But um, yeah, Thanks, Diego. it was making a, a contest on a such a hot day. Uh, okay, I'll get to our guys. It's going. Who was injured earlier. Yeah. Um, uh, an accident. He's come back and we're thrilled to have him on the side. It's uh, Pup. Oh, right. Uh, next guy, um, he's, he just gets better with age. Um, he's a terrific defender. Another great year was uh, was Moses, Peter Moses. Kevin yeah, said he died in one of those 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, next guy, number five, um, good to finish off the season with you in the side, is Letzer. Mr. Here. So, um, number four, great season, great to have been part of the club. Is Next guy, he's had a, such a terrific career, um, and uh, we wish him well. And thanks for the many memories, Ash, is uh, Ash Warner. Uh, next guy, number nine, great season, reliable up forward or in defence, great game today, it's Widget. Also known as uh, Quentin Noble. Uh, next fellow, a young guy, he's had a great career, involved with the under 16 side, it means in the AIS squad, great result, good to have you a part of it, is Froggy Dolly, Mark Dolly. Well, number 11, it's great to have you back this year. It's uh, it meant a lot to Wade this year. So it was good to have you out there, boy. Wade Nagel. Uh, this guy, he had a bit of a new role this year. Um, he wasn't able to year in defence and goes to the Cambridge Rock to give Bruiser a spell, is um, Scotty Mitten. Next guy, a young fellow who was who was leading goal kicker this year. He's had a dynamic year, and uh, another good, great game today was uh, Burger Joel Fitzgerald. <laughs> Next guy, a bit of a general out there, uses his old head well, and a uh, great performer. Another great game today was Adam Richardson. This guy's come back during the event and uh, it was, he's been a real bonus to slot back in the solid. A terrific game on the wing today was Jimmy Bowman. This guy is a, is, uh, he's in under the tanks all day, he worked so hard. A great game today was Andrew Tiger. Next one, number 20, a great season, male medalist, terrific to have him back in our side and also the league, a great bonus for Simon Brew, the pedal. <laughs> Next guy, it's, um, he's, he was injured during the year, he's pushed his way, worked his way back into the side, it's great to have him involved, and it's Joel Edna Nagel. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Next guy saying he can't play sport. Played a great game in defence today. Did his job. Always reliable. Get ready to get Crittenden. Next guy's had a great season. First, first game. Slaking the bees. Was, was called up. The South Africa from the O's. He's been there every game. Ever since. Great year. Brady Ford. It's been great having Huge part of the side this year, sent out forward, he's a powerful man and he always works hard, always competes, Eugene Walker. <laughs> the next two of the white boys, uh, Jules was home today to watch them, it was, it was great having Tice, um, he was injured the last few weeks but he's pushed his way back in, well done to Tice Wayne. Bernie's also battled with a bit of injury, he's pushed his way back, he's important. Oh. So I'd, congratulations to Bernie. Yeah, one way. <laughs> and uh, now, honestly, now, Skipper is a guy jock lacquer, released by Garboy. <laughs> He's an uh, important part of the Gets the boys going. Back to the crazy year. <laughs> and uh, lastly, a very efficient and always reliable manager in Lyle Dolling. Thanks, Lyle, for the great year. And for the coach, Michael Talor. Just quickly, thanks a lot for putting on a great day. There's one medal left. We dedicated our year to a guy who's not with us. This guy, Nagel, will save that medal for his family. Thank you. Uh, before we present the captain of the field and uh, flags, the best player for the day was selected by oh, the hierarchy of the league. I've been Steve Girardi and myself. And best on ground today is Simon Pedler, who's had a great year. Well done, Simon. <laughs> the MJ Walsh Memorial Shield sure. uh, is given every year. So I'd like to present this to the captain and coach of the Randall's Memorial for the year 2003. Well done. Uh, also, there is a Premiership Cup. Uh, traditionally, it's been the Ross Faulkner Cup, but after years of abuse, uh, drinking champagne and various other things out of it over the years on Premiership nights, it's uh, not looking that good. So in recent years, we've had local businesses donate a cup, and the opportunity is there for any local businesses out there to donate the cup next season if they would like. Uh, last year, it was Tazzy Taylor from the Lock Hotel. This year, it was Araya Makita, Paul Marino and Marino, Stud of Ian and Tracy and Amelia Dalit. So I would ask Joe to present his cup to the boys. Thanks a lot for putting on the day. Good day, but the weather is pretty warm. So thanks, Tumby. Uh, a little bit of opposition, so um, probably would have rather played the United with the injuries last week. But anyway, uh, what we won now, boys, great. Yeah. Uh, had a bit of a rough trot in the third round, but uh, got back on the horse and, and came out with a good, so that was good. Thanks for the supporters today. Um, it's going to be a good night back at the club. Thanks for the support staff, Russell, Stewie, Graham, all those blokes who strap us up every week and well done to Trigger and just everyone, everyone I've missed out, you know we are. Thanks. I would like to thank the Lock Club for the efforts they put in this today. It's been a fantastic day, it's a credit to them, the Oval, uh, Honky, Hetzel, Apparently he slept here for a couple of weeks, he's a bit like the Lesbidette, and it's a credit to him, the surface of the oval, and well done. Uh, next year it's a Kaku, so you've set a high standard, I hope the United Island boys can match you at least. So thanks for coming, for your support for the league for the year. Thanks to uh, Steve Girardi, my right-hand man treasurer, and also Adrian Tearley, who's 
work for the league is uh, just unbelievable and it certainly makes my job much easier. So thank you very much to all those people.